button. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Boomers vs. Zoomers, a British and Irish track mania event in aid of mind and Samaritans to bring you everything going on tonight. I'm Noah Lake. Joining me for what is set to be a wonderful evening, Doc. Hello. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, yeah, it's time to finally answer the age old question. Uh, which which generation of players is better? Uh, it's, it's a question that's been flung around our server for, for years now, uh, since since the first BIPC, if not not before. And we're finally going to find out. And it's all for a good <laughs> cause as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. And I do think we should uh, probably talk a little bit about the charities up at the top here, because I could see us getting heated about the rivalry that will unfold over the course <laughs> of the evening and maybe forget to remind people. So yeah. just so everyone knows, <laughs> this is in support of both Mind and Samaritans. Now, it is important to note you can donate in support of either of our two teams, Boomers or Zoomers. But your donate the, the charities are not tied to a team, so it doesn't matter which team you donate to support. There's also nothing no reason to donate to the teams other than because you want to show support for one team over the other but all of the donations you can pick which char charity you donate to and that is not tied to the teams mind and samaritans are both mental health focused charities mind operating in england and wales uh work and scotland, in order I believe. Uh, and possibly as well, possibly also in Scotland, yeah. Possibly. <laughs> uh, who are, uh, mind our mental health charity who won't give up until everyone experiencing a mental health problem gets both support and respect. Samaritans operate across the British Isles and Samaritans' vision is that fewer people die by suicide. We make sure there's someone there for anyone who needs someone. We offer tools, resources and services online and offline that help people look after their own well-being and mental health, build resilience and support others. Samaritans, of course, it's their hotline, I think, is the thing they're most known for, uh, which is just genuinely a wonderful tool for anyone who finds themselves in need of help. And it is a time of the year when a lot of people do struggle. Uh, long yeah, winter months and, of course, around Christmas as well. It is important to look out for everyone who may be struggling at this time of year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the team behind it, uh, we're, we're just glad to be able to give something back to the amazing charities, as you say. Um, and uh, I have to mention that... Uh, it's not just donation. You can get something back from this. There are donation incentives in place. So um, as people will see in game in a minute, there are some lovely skins made by the one and only Wizzy. Um, for a, a paltry £5 donation, you can gain access to um, the basic uh, version of those skins. So uh, either the, well, both the uh, Boomers and Zoomers custom uh, skins um, with no names on, and then for... Uh, Oh, I forgot what the most. <laughs> 20 or 25 pounds? 20, it I think it's 20 it pounds, yeah. 20, 20 pounds. pounds. For 20 pounds, um, we'll get Wizzy to stick your name and flag on, on one of the skins of your choice. So, uh, yeah, you can get something out of it as well. But, you know, it should really be just for, you know, a good feeling yeah. of giving money to charity so, and enjoying yeah. a great event. And just one or two more pieces of housekeeping before we get into our format and our teams for tonight. Once again, you can donate to either charity and still support either team just because you're donating to Samaritans and their name is beside the blue bar at the top of the screen does not mean that you are supporting the Zoomer team or you're, you can support the Boomer team anyway. So please donate to the, char the charity that you want to donate to. You can still choose to be very toxic towards the other team anyway, although we'd recommend <laughs> against it. Uh, the other thing is that, of course, people are are free to subscribe to the channel tonight as well but as is normal for british irish track mania and this channel any subscriptions will not be going to the charity they will be going to support of the british irish track mania community and the potential to run future events as well so just keep that in mind that mm -hmm. donations are donations subscriptions <laughs> are subscriptions to the channel it's an easy dichotomy and with that doc i think it's time to talk a little bit about the event that is going on tonight 10 players yeah. entering five boomers five zoomers yeah, we'll see how many make it out alive. <laughs> see if any of the boomers can uh, can last that long. See if their pacemakers hold out. So uh, yeah, so it's it's a interesting format we have got today. Um, so uh, it's been split across three uh, main sections. So we've got uh, one um, set of rounds mode being played on a boomers leaning uh, <laughs> leaning classic map. tech. Um, yeah, classic tech. And then one that's more of a modern comp style um, in the vein of EMC, although I've played this map and it's harder than what you're going to get on there. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and then the final map uh, will be a fast learn, a, fast, a quick uh, fast learn with a knockout style uh, on that. So, um, yeah, I think that should 
Oh, sorry. One thing to remember on the, the first two maps, the, the non-knockout ones, uh, it will be uh, a 1v1 and then two 2v2. So we'll see all five players on both of the maps. Um, yeah, so we're going to see some some tasty 1v1s. Uh, yeah. Rip. So um, uh, in order to decide who's going to be on the home team or first or going first, I guess. <laughs> in order to decide map. who gets to pick the first map, exactly. Yeah. We do have players from each team joining us here on yes. the broadcast. From Team Boomer, we have... Uh, well, who's joining us from Team Boomer? It looks like Leo's joined us from Team Boomer. Leo, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Yeah, pretty good. Thank you. Uh, and from Team Zoomer, supporting them with his microphone off, because if there's one thing we know about Zoomers, it's that they're the team that doesn't understand technology. I do see Wizzy <laughs> is here. And uh, yeah, he's managed to turn on his microphone. Wizzy, how are you doing? Hey. <laughs> hello, I'm, uh, I'm doing good. How are you, mate? Hey, pretty good. Looking forward to it. We should probably introduce the other four team members for each team before we get any further. Joining Leo on yes. Team Boomer, we do have Pack, Zephyr, Hotswat, and Jono. Over on Team Zoomer, we have Epos, Bosbez, Hendo, Anna Kroos. And before we get any further into this coin task, I do want to come to you, Leo, and ask how you're feeling about the team that has been assembled for you tonight. Uh, I feel really good. Um, I think this is probably the first and last time these five players will be online at the same time, <laughs> which is quite something. Um, the fact that we've got kind of such a wide array of older players uh, for this event is uh, quite astounding. And I'm really grateful that everyone's put the time aside. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, Wizzy, what's the what's the sentiment like then over on the Zoomer side? Is uh, it's yeah, really good. I think um, we we we're, we're really happy to. To, yeah, to be able to play these guys, uh, as Leo said, it's uh, you know these guys have been playing. I probably just this is a compliment, but these guys are so experienced. That, you know they've been playing a long time, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I apologize if that came out wrong. But yeah, it's uh, we're 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 really excited, and yeah, hopefully we can put up a good show. Nice. Gonna be fun. Any, any predictions? Do you think you're gonna take it? Take the uh, well, I suppose it depends on what maps come up first. But you think overall you're gonna gonna smash them? Smash the uh, <laughs> well, uh, if um, if I'm to leak anything, we know Apple suck is looking at, but no, Apple's is looking really good. Um, <laughs> I think he loves so, Hubble, uh, Hubble loves the tech map. So. He does, he does, yeah, he does. Um, he's nicknamed it Hockey Wocky. Uh, <laughs> on the Twitter, so uh, <laughs> just really leaning into the Zoomer kind of tag here on the team, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Please, uh, Leo, yeah. with that in mind as well, then, is there maybe a final question before we get into the coin toss? Is it considered maybe a little bit unfair on the boomer side that the tech map that has been chosen is one that had a remake in one of the campaigns recently? Uh, well, the thing is, we knew, uh, spoiler alert, I'm on the team that helped organize the event. Um, <laughs> not, that's not to say that I pre-trained all the maps. Uh, I specifically isolated myself from you that. You did, uh, but that was unrelated. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Uh, well, for Hockalicious, like, it's probably the most well-known uh, classic tech map and maybe the only classic tech map that a lot of newer players would even know uh, thanks to videos on it by people like virtual um yeah it's had a remake recently um the one that we're playing on today it was a remake built by killjoy kind of spruced up for this event and there was a campaign remake as well and a lot of people played the original so it kind of just felt like something that would kind of level the playing field given that we wanted to have a classic boomer map yeah, it's going to be fun once we do get into it. And we are going to get into it shortly because we have brought you here for a reason. We're going to flip a coin to see which team gets to pick which map we're going to first. Now, we haven't really, Doc, I don't think, talked about how we decide who actually gets to call the coin flip. Because famously, that is something that only one person can really do during a coin flip. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, they can't both do it at the same time. <laughs> I, I feel like uh, I feel like Leo, as as an organizer, should yeah, age before take beauty. This one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sorry, Wizzy. I like this corruption. I'll go with it. Okay. Do you want to call it? Uh, heads. It is tails. I'm afraid. Sorry, it's two pound now. I've had one of them for a while. It is tails. So, Wizzy, uh, would you rather have uh, the the boomers orientated map or the zoomers orientated map first? Get the tech out of the way or straight in on your home game? Uh, we would like to go for Hockalicious, please, first. Very well. Interesting choice. You will come to regret that. I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, there are fighting words. Thank you very much for joining us, Leo and Wizzy. We'll let you get back to your teams and prep for our first map, which will be Hockalicious. Cheers, see you. And uh, Doc, yeah, you mentioned it before we got the guys in here, which is that uh, the format we are doing then on our two pre-known maps, the maps that the players, in theory, could have practiced if they wanted to, and we'll see how, <laughs> how much each player has practiced when yeah. we get into it. You say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you, that we're going to be playing kind of three individual matches on each map. Every player has to participate in at least one of those. We will be starting things off with a 1v1 and then heading into two 2v2s. Two yeah, so it's going to be interesting who uh, gets stacked up against who. Um, I think on Hoko, a lot of the uh, Zoomers are not going to put in the amount of hours that uh, they should really be to come up against some of these players who have played it day in, day out, granted, a decade ago. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it, it's uh, it's an interesting track compared to modern tech standards that I think rubs a lot of Zoomers the wrong way. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see who they pick. Um, I feel like obviously your your usual your usual people are going to be good on it. I think Epos is looking strong on it from uh, some of his um, PBs that I've seen. Um, but then again, you know you've got people like Jono who I think put about you know, 40 minutes into it and got a similar sort of time. Uh, so a lot of the Boomer team is just going to be relearning muscle memory from from Eon's past. <laughs> yeah. Although it should still be noted as well that uh, this is a Hockalicious remake made specifically yes. for this event by Killjoy, uh, part of the admin team over at BITM. Yeah. And so, I mean, the muscle memory is definitely going to be there in terms of remembering the turns and knowing it, but the physics are a little bit different than the game in yeah. which this was originally played. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the transition from uh, stadium grass onto road is slightly different. Um, the ending section, which was previously like a horrible little dirt jump through a tent, is slightly different feel to it now. Um, so there are, and, and also, as you say, physics on the car itself is different. Um, so I, I did play this myself. It does feel a bit strange um, when you've come from playing the older one. Um, yeah, so uh, as you say, this map was originally done by uh, Killjoy uh, last year, um, and then for this event, we've had we put together a mapping team of uh, Jorde and uh, Gylo, um, and they've spruced this up a bit with a bit more wintry kind of scenery, uh, and the scenery sort of ties in with the other two maps, and it looks amazing. Um, obviously, as you'd expect from those two. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to to seeing how they play on some of these maps. Yeah, it's going to be a ton of fun, and it's going to be interesting to see uh, which team sends out which players to do their 1v1, and then what the pairings are for the 2v2 as well. Is there a weak 2v2 on either of the teams uh, that they feel like, look, <laughs> we'll just sack one of the rounds and be happy with picking up the other two, you know? I think we are going to see walls turn up. Whether we see it on tech or whether we see it on uh, the mixed one uh, is going to be, uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. But I think we are going to see Acros and Hendo together. Mm. Um, and I think we are going to see Boz and Wizzy together. I think Epos is probably going to take the 1v1 on the... Actually, I don't know. It's hard to predict. <laughs> I'll, I'll pick it now. I think Pack is... Uh, so the mixed one, I think, is slightly easier on the boomer side. I think Pack mm. is definitely going to take the mixed 1v1. Yeah. Tech it, it, 1v1 is it a little bit unfair as well that you know we're saying oh the mixed tech style you know or the mixed comp style the more modern kind of competitive style of track and then you've also just <laughs> got packed pack of pro yeah. second place in a world championship not a month ago on the boomer side like yeah. that feels yeah, like it's yeah. very against the spirit of things uh yeah <laughs> i feel like um yeah you you've I feel like it, it evens itself out. You've got a lot of players, so I'm not, no disrespect to Jono. Obviously, he was top four in the original BIPC, but you've got a lot of people who don't regularly play mixed day in, day out. Um, so I think it'll work itself. I think it'll work itself out. I think, mm. I personally think on tech, I think the Zoomers, uh, sorry, the Boomers are going to clean sweep it. I Ooh. think. Just straight 3 0 straight across the three matches. I think we're going to see Swatty on the 1v1. Because he's he's rapid on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, just getting some uh, uh -huh. insider info on the inside. I think Leo is doing the 1v1. Oh, very interesting. 
That could be pretty fun. We'll have to wait and see how things do shake out. We are getting things set up. And in the meantime, I will remind everyone that this event is in support of two great charities across the British Isles, Mind and Samaritans. Donation links can be found in chat if you feel like making a donation. And of course, not only would we appreciate it here, being able to help show support from the British Irish community for Trackmania, but also it is a wonderful cause and uh, just great support people in need at this time of year. We are getting ready to head into game here and at least keep an eye on the warm-ups and see how players are getting ready for the track here. This is what Hawkalicious is going to look like. We're not quite into our live rounds yet, but uh, there's a lot of road in this map. <laughs> yeah, the boomers are going to be right at home here. There's just a little bit of grass. That's where they're going to be a little bit wobbly, but now this is full-on ball-to-the-wall tech, and we are going to see some great times here. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I'm, I haven't seen Jono play for two years, and if he's as good as I remember him being, uh, we are in for a big one. Um, mm. So yeah, I think who are we gonna see? I also, I Doc, Leo I do against... feel like we should probably note that I feel like here on the broadcast we do have a little bit of Boomer versus Zoomer energy as well. So am I just fully cheering for Team Boomer and you're cheering for Team Zoomer in this one? Well, are we gonna do an age reveal to figure out who's? Is... <laughs> well, I, I, that's true. I guess given when I was born, which is a leap year and on the leap year, I could You're argue, arguably, I am. I think I'm fully all the way past <laughs> Zoomer and into Gen Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, in in the strictest sense of the word, because I, I feel like a lot of people are gonna say that that's not a true Boomer. Mm. In the strictest sense, in sort of uh, in TM. Uh, terminology. It's if you picked up the game prior to 2020, so Pac was mm. playing in, in uh, TM2, and I think before that, possibly a little bit of TMF. Um, sure. So I think technically, I am it's a boomer. probably the other way around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, because I also I started in TM2 as well. So I played TM. <laughs> I played uh, TMNF uh, in 2012, very very casually. Um, All right. So okay. No. That... So you're right. It is the other way around. You are the boomer, and I am the zoomer. This is wonderful for my ego. I don't look a day over seventeen. <laughs> uh, yeah. So... I do have producer Thomas shouting in my ear, reminding me to let everyone know that oh, there yes. is a wonderful podcast uh, where people can get to know members of both the British Irish community and wider members of the Trackmania community as well. Where I talked about how I got my start in Trackmania, and so have many of the other players. Many players in this very lobby have been on that <laughs> podcast. And that podcast is keeping track, available at all good podcast outlets near you. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. It is. It had everyone's favorite admin, uh, KJ, on it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Wizzy was on. I think uh, Stuffs was on as part of Wizzy's duo oh, wow. for the World Championship and things. Uh, nice. He's getting Dono walled by Pac currently, trying to get him on, but I'm sure one day <laughs> that'll come to fruition. <laughs> <laughs> But we'll see how that does go. <laughs> yeah. One other thing to note, uh, I am keeping track of uh, donations and donation comments as we go through this. So if you've got any predictions or if you just want to call out someone on the team, slag them off, stick it in your comments. Uh, and as long as it's not too fruity, I'll read out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, a massive thank you already because we have not even started matches yet, but we are already nearly at £500 donated to these wonderful causes. So massive thank you to the community and everyone who's showed support so far. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, even just as soon as it was announced, it got straight up to like 100 quid. We're live! Man. Hang on! Oh, this is live yeah. racing! Leo versus Hendo, yeah, it turns out, is the 1v1. And Leo <laughs> is kind of struggling to take the lead at the moment. Hendo doing a great job of keeping up at the moment. And uh, this would be, well, maybe set the boomers to quaking a little bit if Hendo can take <laughs> round one against Leo on this. Yeah, yeah, it's neck and neck so far. Neck and neck. I mean, ooh, these are... Around, drift around the poles there, and you feel like Leo's got the upper hand here. Did Hendo clip that wall, or is he just yes. very close? <laughs> we did. Full, so, fully hit that wall. <laughs> I think, oh, yes. Oh, second and a bit behind. I think Leo's just going to safe it through here. And this is where we see that the uh, the final drift there has changed slightly from those of you who played the original. Uh, and also, I've been informed of that little drop down uh, that Hendo is just coming up to now or uh, has just gone past, is slightly different. So it feels a bit weird compared to the original. Uh, so I think um, this, the boomers can't rest on their laurels here. They can't expect to turn up 10 years later and, and play this exactly <laughs> the same way that they did. So uh, hopefully they've um, put, in a bit of, uh, put in a bit of time on this. And we see Hendo goes for the inside line here, but Leo comes out with more speed. And again, we are getting a close round. And 
Oh, what's it? Oh. Endo goes tight there and comes out with more, uh, similar speed. Interesting. Yeah, different, different lines. lines on the competitive tech map here. Nintendo yeah. with a bit of an advantage, but it is Leo with a little bit more speed leading through this wide section, setting up very wide there with Whoa. Leo. Hendo gets an early drop down, though, and I think uh, that rounded end of the platform and Hendo taking advantage of that, giving him <laughs> a relatively insurmountable lead here. Yeah, although Leo comes inside here and comes oh, that's in with great, more though. speed and is going to come down to the last couple of drifts. Oh, and it is neck and neck. Hendo with more speed. Leo goes for just a single tap, goes wide, tries to get more speed. And is he going to catch him in time? I think Hendo's going to take it, and he does. <sighs> Big round yeah. for Hendo. That was quick, and uh, yeah, on the one zoomer element on the map, that one rounded block introduced in Trackmania 2020, <laughs> he uses that to drop off the platform a fraction of a tenth of a second earlier and get a little bit more speed there. So uh, Hendo, using every trick he can to his advantage, it is, in theory, up to seven, but I believe that the scores in the top left, someone needs to confirm for me if these are correct, because players have been getting two points for a win, one for a loss. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, the score stands at one to one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I believe that is what it should be. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whether the server kicks them off when they get seven, uh, we'll, we will find out. Uh, Oh, but I anyway, told a lie. It's the, the rounded end is on the TMNF version as well. So you know what? Uh, there's really no excuse for Leo. Boomer's in the mud. <laughs> yeah, although he's pulled it back on this one. Uh, he's got a point to lead it. And he's looking comfortable. He's, I don't know what he did on that, that round uh, that uh, Hendo won, but he is looking comfortable here. He's point three ahead again, and it's just cruising. Yeah, uh, and it's looking pretty solid. You can enjoy the wonderful scenery by uh, Jorde and uh, Jilo. Yeah, with the lovely obstacles lovely? and floating uh, snowflakes and stuff. Yeah, and uh, Just that is really gives you some visual noise to put you off the drift. <laughs> <laughs> Just to really, it, again, everything is kind of slanted against the boomers here, isn't it? You know, I mean, they've just added too many elements to a classic track here <laughs> for them to be able to keep up. <laughs> yeah. Well, and again, it's another very tight. Oh, Hendo goes wide and he's going to get similar sort of speed out here. Yeah, and it is, again, solid. neck and neck. I mean, if we get this the whole way through, it's going to be like two tenths of me to handle. Yeah, I mean, for as much as we can talk up, you know, the differences and how different track styles should favor each team, and maybe the Boomers will do better on Hawkalicious here on this pure tech map, there's a lot of very good players in this lobby on both sides anyway who are definitely capable of kind of handling most things that are thrown at them. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, Leo did some... Uh coaching for well the the, the bitm sort of uh, academy team mm. dullahan uh gave us some tips on the emc stuff and he is i mean people like to rag on boomers for the mix but leo is right up there as one of the best in the country for for playing on mixed um so i think you shouldn't really write some of them off i mean even i mean people like to rag on chris for uh, you know just because of Chris and we love him. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, he's playing for Good Focus um, at the moment, who are hopefully about to get promoted into Div 1 on EMC. So, again, I mm. don't think you can really write any of these teams off on any surface. No, absolutely not. And uh, it, while it is 3-1 to one at the moment, Hendo has made each of these rounds pretty competitive. It's usually just a single turn. And isn't that the way of it with competitive tech? It does often just come down to a single turn, yeah, one maybe small mistake, go. and there it is for Hendo. You can nail the rest of the map, but the problem is if your opponent nails every single turn and you just about <laughs> drift a little too wide on one, that's the difference maker. Yeah, yeah. All it takes is just, I mean, Leo looks like he's very, very comfortable in here. And Hendo's having to push it to keep up and just has to clip, uh, clips the uh, inside of the scenery block there. And Leo mm. is going to take home another one, which brings us up to 4 1, I believe. 4 to 1, yeah. Uh, mm. Big for Leo. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. crushing at the moment. And uh, while it is first to seven, while it is 4 to 1, we can see it at the end of each round there. It's not out of it just yet for Hendo. It could be done as, uh, once again, thank you for all of the donations rolling in over £500 at this point. Uh, both mine and Samaritans are excellent charities and it is wonderful to see so many people turning out to support such great causes uh, here in just a fun little Trackmania event as well in this lead up to Christmas. Yeah, big donor there from Cap Riley. Cheers, mate. And one in there from Tom as well, <laughs> saying... 
pack our right, but you still ain't calling. <laughs> I do see now why producer Thomas asked us to just check the in on the donations, and it is because he just wanted to make sure it's. Well, fair enough, you know. Sometimes yeah. it's about the person who's donating rather about the rather than the wonderful cause they're donating to, isn't that right, Thomas? <laughs> he can't answer back on stream and so it's unfair yeah. to ask him questions. Hendo has a lead at the moment, <laughs> just over a tenth in front of Leo and looking quick on this round, but getting towards the end, it was a little Leo bit shaky on the exit there. It was much better speed oh, from Leo. Leo but going tight, yeah. Tries to risk it by going under the Uh so the score now is, is five to one. Five? Four to two. Four to what two. am I saying? Oh, listen, I'm just, I'm Honestly. so used to seeing Leo win rounds at this point that I'm just like, ah, oh, I'll just count it for that, even if it was ended across the line first. <laughs> Thank you very much for 100 pen donation. You're anonymous. It's just, uh, listen, I'm going with the dead mouse way of pronouncing that and assuming I don't have to pronounce every single number in there. <laughs> Thank you very much for the support. Uh, much, much appreciated. Um... <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, uh, Endo <laughs> will chase down Leo on this round. Leo is holding on to a lead at the moment, and again, the exit is good from Leo, nailing a lot of these lines. Hendo trying to go deep inside on this one and closes the gap, but again, the speed is there for Leo, and the exit here looks better for Leo one more time. The dirt and in, Hendo getting a decent turn on this one, but the speed will show, and Leo will lead the way to the line. Five to two will be the score, and Leo only a couple of rounds away from locking up a first matchup for the Boomers. Yeah, I mean, they're all close rounds. I mean... Only point two on ones where Hendo doesn't clip, um, but that's just the the difference between uh, sort of playing these rounds for you know years, years and years, uh, playing this track in particular, um, and only just picking up the map you know a few weeks ago. But yeah. I mean, it's it's very close. I mean, Hendo seems to get out to an early lead. He knows the lines. He just has to push it hard because Hendo uh, Leo knows knows the map inside out, and he yeah. is coming straight back at him. It's uh, looking impressive, chasing a little bit of airtime there for Leo, though, as well. Doesn't look to have cost much speed, and Leo is cruising on through into first place at the moment. Hendo is going to stay wheel to wheel at the moment. This would be a big round for Hendo to win, as it would mean that Leo remains just a couple of points away, does not get match point yet, and keeps Hendo in with a chance, and it's going to be very close down to the end, oh. at least it was going to be. Right up until Hendo crashed and gave Leo a free run to the finish line. And that will be six points and match point for match point Leo. The boomers here. Off to a good start. Off to a good start. They need to get that under their belt. And also, <laughs> big thanks there to OC. 100 big ones. Cheers. Yeah. Uh, much appreciated on that as well from OC, who is busy uh, looking after the rest of the British Irish community. Is good focus uh, play in the EMC at the moment. So, uh, you know, <laughs> great to see the multitasking come through as well. Trackmania players prove that they have brains as well as hands. Yeah, if you've got two screens, get uh, get this up on one and uh, OC's uh, EMC promotion screen on, uh, stream on the other. Because good focus, yeah. I reckon they're going to do it against Shifty. But anyway, back to this game. Hendo here <laughs> has taken uh, almost a tenth lead over Leo. But Leo looks like he's going to get more speed out of this drift, and it's coming into a, a, the tough drift. So this this drift in particular is one that's been, as I say that, yep. Hendo clipped the inside. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that that uh, drift in particular is one that's been singled out by the zoom uh, the zoomers. It's sort of uh, uh, a tricky drift that you don't really see too much uh, in in modern tech. Um, so. It's got a bit of a funky gear, um, and we see Leo takes it home. Yep, and Leo will wrap things up for the yeah. boomers here, and we're going to head into our first 2v2s. Now, Doc, this is not the... Well, I said... Okay, we are. Players know that that's what's going... Yeah, we're back in... It's fine. I just... I worried there. I saw a car, car on track, and it was fine. <laughs> this is a 2v2 format. It is not the 2v2 format that many players, many viewers may be familiar with from the Trackmania World Tour this year. This is an older cool. style of 2v2 format with some differences. Yeah, so the main one is, uh, points-wise, um, instead of getting your you know your aces uh, and then for a standard win you get two points and one point for the loser it will just be um if overall you are the winning team uh you pick up a point uh if it's a draw it'll be zero points uh, and it, obviously yeah. if you lose you don't get any um so it's it's classic rounds um yeah which uh 
is what the boomers will be used to, and I think possibly uh, uh, we've well, we've got people who played in the World Tour who will be a bit confused, <laughs> possibly. But, um, yeah, so I think we are possibly going to see Hot Swap in this one. Your compatriot. Yes, Irishman Hot Swap. <laughs> Stepping yeah. up for the boomers, we'll wait and see. Uh, it does look like another 1v1 is happening at the moment. That's what the server thinks is happening, but that's not what's happening. So we'll <laughs> wait and see who does actually step up for these 2v2s as uh, things will get sorted out nice and quickly. But in the meantime, once again, we'll say that we've already broken £700 for our charities tonight. So once again, I, I feel like I'm going to be saying it a lot, but a massive thank you to everyone who has donated so far. It is much appreciated. Yeah, uh, that is madness i forgot to refresh the thing and i just realized that the numbers jumped up a lot <laughs> so yeah <laughs> big, big thanks to everyone that, that is absolutely mad uh we just had uh one in from lawnmo there as well cheers lawnmo yeah it's great it's a bit of a who's who of british irish track mania turning out tonight as well and popping up yeah, in yeah. that donation feed which is uh <laughs> lovely to see everyone stepping out for a big cause here and, uh, well, we're providing the action to match so far as well as Hendo has picked up that first win here on Hockalicious for the Boomers. And it's up Leo. to a pairing of Leo. the Zoomers <laughs> to be determined to try and strike back. Leo picked up the win for the Boomers. Hendo picked yeah, up the loss well, for the Zoomers. <laughs> Hendo did, but, you know, I mean, now that he's lost, I think he's outdated and clearly a Boomer himself, so... <laughs> He's, uh, he's he's now in the history books. He's, yeah, he's just correct. Up on the shelf. So it looks like we are possibly going to see Hot Swat and Jono against Bosbez and. Well, at the moment they're all oh, driving, sorry. which really makes it oh, quite everyone difficult. Everyone is driving. Yeah. Okay, that makes <laughs> things a lot. <laughs> I thought it was just the two there. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, as the speculation continues, then. Um, yeah. Yeah, so um, we could see a, a possibly a three sub match sweep here for the Boomers. Um, yeah, and then I, I I don't know what you think, but I think we could possibly see the reverse on the the mix map as well, because uh, as you say, although actually one of them will be pack, so we'll possibly yeah. see a two, <laughs> two one victory. <laughs> yeah, like um, genuinely pack is that wild card, right? Because I yeah, mean, here's yeah. the thing as well: <laughs> if pack wins every single round. It's kind of the same as it was in World Tour, where you're just like, well, if, if someone is winning every single round, then you can never get points over them. It's just infinite <laughs> draws at yeah, worst, yeah. right? <laughs> Although I do think, like, look, that's uh, being unfair, I think, to some of the Zoomer players, who are legitimately some incredible players on co mixed competitive maps themselves. So I think just yeah. saying, like, oh, well, Pac's there, so obviously he's going to win every single round. <laughs> I mean, we saw that not be true when he took on players like Wizzy, like Epos, in the World Championship. So, you yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah, so I think uh, yeah, like like we said at the start of this, is going to be it's sort of a mixed grudge match because I think we when we had the original VIPC, um, a lot of the boomers turned up for that one, but you had a lot of the zoomers who weren't uh, experienced comp players at that point. So this this is going to be the grudge match, um, you know, get a bit of dignity back because um, well we had we had hot swap. Uh, I know with Jono was fourth. We had. Pack won it, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's a chance for uh, for them to to, to prove that uh, they you know they are better. Um, and I think we are on to the last warm up here, and I'm not sure who we're gonna get because they all still seem to be playing. But <laughs> we, I think yeah. we might just find out as soon as the round starts. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think that's what we're gonna have to wait for at this point is to see exactly who steps up at any point when we do start this round, but we should be getting close. I think we're in one more warm up now. And uh, from there, we will be heading across. What's up with Zoomers and the letter W? Well, uh, they're just manifesting. <laughs> and also they play for a team previously known as Wombo, which has since rebranded to just W. Just W. And Wizzy yeah. plays for Wild as well. And there's also, also that. There's a lot of Ws that, going on. There is a lot of Ws over on that. And I guess Epos is also playing for SWT. I don't know what that club tag is, but also does just look like the W because uh, the S and T are quite well hidden against the blue. Oh, yeah. What is that? Does does Epos just want to be in Team Wombo and uh, is, is just, you know, <laughs> has come up with a fake <laughs> club tag in order to pretend that he's part of them? <laughs> Okay, I think we are going live. Who have we got? Who have we got? Oh, it is it going like to Jono be... Swatty. 
Oh, Jono and Swati up against Wizzy Wizzy and Boz. And Boz this could cool. be this could be wonderful. This could be genuinely yeah. intense. <laughs> and we see Hotswat off to an early start, uh, early lead as well. And Boz yeah. keep it up on tech. Everyone thought, you know, Boz Bears on tech. You know, he doesn't like it. He's uh, he's a he's a whatever it's called, slidey surface. Uh, <laughs> but we see him keeping up with uh, Hotswat here, although Hotswat is. Pulled ahead a bit on that drift. Takes an almost 0.1 lead, and we see Giono floundering. 0.3 behind. It's all going to come down to uh, who can win out of Hotswat and Bozbez. But the Wizzy's nipping in his heels here. Yeah, Bozbez any mistake could lead. cost anyone dearly right now. Hotswat looking to a slightly better exit Ooh. speed at the moment. Has caught Boz. Yeah. Will carry it to the line. Boz tried to go tight to the line to manage to cancel yeah. that out. But it is going to be a gap between the top three of about a tenth. And Jono is still out on track somewhere. We'll get there. But that means <laughs> no points awarded for round one here hey. for anyone. And uh, <laughs> that means, I think, buckle up, everyone. I hope you've got whatever you need at hand because we could be here for a while. Yep, we're in for the long haul here. This is a marathon, not a sprint. So, uh, but yeah, I look like uh, Boz just not quite as comfortable on that final drift. I think he had to do a little release, and so that's why he had the better better speed coming out of it. And we're seeing a similar situation unfold here with Hotspot and Bozbez up front. The only difference this time is Jono is also up there, although I believe he's actually just dropped back. There. As I say that, oh no, he's still up there. We're still, still there. Everyone within point two. Yeah, and Wizzy made that look Wizzy, a little bit Wizzy's risky across the platform. Uh, is still close behind, but losing speed and will drop Ooh. all the way back as a result of a slam into the wall. So Hotswat leads the way once again. It's up to Boz, Boz to turn this into another there. pointless round, and he does get great speed on the exit. Hotswat is going to have to overtake Boz at the finish line here, but I don't think there's enough Not track much. left. I don't <laughs> think there's a speed difference to do it, and I think we're headed for another oh. draw. I was half joking. I'll 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 be honest with you, Doc. I was joking about we could be here for a while, but I think we could be here for a long time. We are only playing up to five points now, rather than the seven that we were doing in the one v one duels. Yeah, but we might have to. Drop this that is if, still uh, potentially taking a while. Yeah. <laughs> Just next next round is the winner at some point. Yeah, yeah, Gold, golden goal or golden round. Yeah. Oh lord. Surely someone will get a point this time. Someone sure. will win a round. Sure. For no doubt in my mind. <laughs> I think jo Jono, Jono's PB is around about a 0 0.8, 0 0.9, I think. Mm. Um, so I think it's just going to be, can Jono pull it out and take over the Wizzy? Because it looks like Boz and Hotswire just, you know, keyed in at the front. Getting, they're getting 54 flats every round. Um, yeah. So it's going to be, oh, there, Wizzy clips the inside. I think he clips the pole and hits the inside there. Right, well, bars to keep us Ooh. pointless, keep us pointless. <laughs> again, <laughs> in the best tradition of UK game shows, as Boz <laughs> will get decent exit speed there, Hotswat with a little bit of a rough jump over the dirt, and I think Boz is going to be cruising through to a round win, Hotswat is gaining slightly, but Boz will just hold him off, 23 thousandths of a second, and Wizzy will cruise home in the fourth place that, you know, almost feels unnecessary at this point with Boz doing that up front. <laughs> Yeah, another good one, and another big donation in there from Thorsten. Thanks very much, or oh, Bazoo. Sorry. Thanks very <laughs> and much. with that as well, the, Zo the Zoomers donations close in for the first time to uh, nearly within £10 of the donations to Team Boomer. So maybe Zoomers can actually overtake Boomers in that dono race at some point as well. A race <laughs> that is purely on screen. It means nothing, it means nothing. but it is pretty entertaining. <laughs> I like seeing the bar go, oh, wait, oh, hang on, give me two seconds. I need to I need to up these targets because I honestly, <laughs> the targets were set at £200 when I first made them. I was like, that seems like a reasonable thing. And uh, yeah, we might have gone quite a bit past them. So uh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll we are doing <laughs> very well. Once again, thank you to everyone who has donated. And you can check out those donation links in chat with an exclamation mark. Donate. Don't think that's popped up in a while. Chat is moving too fast. And this round is moving too fast as well. It is anyone's race oh, around please, the final please. corner. Boz looks to have taken the lead. Can Wizzy get Jono? Can Wizzy get Hotswat? It doesn't matter oh, because it is a win, win nonetheless. <laughs> as that was legitimately all four players within a tenth. And it is the Zoomers who come out on top with a round win. What a round. We've actually, we're off the mark. We're off. So that took us 10 minutes. So if we've got that <laughs> out, this is going to be the best part of an hour. <laughs> It'll be fine. We'll, we'll get through this no problem. At some point, 
people will start crashing. I mean, this is hot swat crashing. Say that. Very early. Buzz and Wizzy. Oh, and again, one, two. That is unrecoverable from Swatty. So Jono has got to pull it out the bag here. I mean, it's up to Jono to uh, give us a zero point round and just make sure that we cannot easily pick up wins for any team. But at the moment, it is looking solid for the team in blue. Team Zoomers are pretty far ahead of this one. Wizzy is looking a little shaky and Buzz, Buzz will fully crash. Hot Swat is still a long way down. So this is still a win as long as Boz can hold on to third place and Wizzy can hold on to first. But Jono is so Jono quick. Oh, no. Here he comes. Cue the Jaws music. Oh, I think Wizzy's just about got enough speed there. Ooh. Good it looks round. scary. It looked and scary. Boz but Zoomers will pick up a second round win in a row. And Wizzy banging in another low 54 on this one. 54 9, or 53 9, 54 flat. Looking like the time you need to be hitting. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Although we do see on the right hand side. Uh, well, actually, it's yeah. not up on the stream. We do see that. We uh, can see the local people, records. We can see the local records. <laughs> We see, uh, yeah, most people around about that 53.9 as they're in rounds uh, PB, although we see that Pack has jumped on the server and set a 53.7. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> good luck to yeah. whoever is uh, in the next 2v2, but Hotswell has clicked the inside on this current 2v2, oh. and again it is down to Jono, but it looks like Bosbez has got a 0 0.3 lead currently. Can Jono reel him in and salvage a, at least a draw here? Yeah, they're going to have to try. Jono came very close in the last round, but ultimately just fell short of catching Wizzy at the line. And Bozbez this time around in the lead. No mistakes so far. Wizzy holding on to second. This is looking like a third round in a row, and it will be with Jono crashing. Hotswat is coming on fast, though. Will catch Boz, but will not manage to get far enough to catch Wizzy. That's a third round win Ooh. for the Zoomers, and they are making sure that they put this one to bed before they have to go themselves. <laughs> Yeah. Well, their, their glass of Horlicks will be ready for them after this. <laughs> and they can put and look, slippers to be on fair, tucked in. the Zoomers, it's approaching their bedtime, but Boomers have work in the morning. So That is true. <laughs> that is very true. It is a little bit tough. And uh, once again, donations rolling on in. Thank you very much, Keench, J Nemesis, mm. for those donations as well. <laughs> Keench saying that... Uh, yeah, you can leave a message here. We've got one from Kinch, so uh, nice that TM is the only place that he is a Zoomer. Is that a... I don't know when... Ooh, is Kinch <laughs> revealing that he is actually an old man? Actually, <laughs> Well, I mean, we say that. I mean, I think most of these Boomers are actually late 20s. I think, I'm I, older think I, I am <laughs> older than most of these. <laughs> Correct. But that won't stop me making fun of them. And uh, <laughs> In the meantime, there is Trackmania happening once again, a very there close is. round. And once again, a round that looks to be favoring Team Zoomers. Wizzy holds on to first. Jono yeah, takes yeah. second, but Boz will take third. And that is four rounds back to back to back to back unanswered by Team yeah. Boomer as Zoomers rocket into the lead. Yeah, and it seems like Wizzy's finally got the hang of things, setting at 53.9. That's a very nice time. That is second local. That's the fastest we've seen so far. Um, I mean, apart from Pax Warmer, obviously. Fastest we've seen so far in a live round. Um, so yeah, yeah, it seems like Wizzy's finally figured out how to play this, uh, and he's really turning up the heat here, and uh, possibly leaving Jono and Hotswap behind. Hotswap was off to a good start, and Jono's clicked, that, clicked the inside, sorry. And it's going to be down to Hotswat, who was off to a good start, and since then has had a couple of tricky rounds. But here he is. He's got about 0.2 down to Wizzy and 0.1 to Boz. Although Boz has got much more speed out of there. And we are going to have another thrilling end to this map again. I can see why it was so popular. 13 years ago. <laughs> yeah, turns out Hockalicious is ageless, unlike some of our players. And well, Boz <laughs> holding on to a lead. It's a tight battle for first place. Who holds it? Hot Swat will stay Speed calm again. under the pressure and managing to hold on to first place. It's another draw. What's draw. Our third, our fourth <laughs> of the match so far. And it will mean that the Boomers survive at least one round longer. Yeah. Has Jono lost his uh, that competitive edge you need for rounds play? <laughs> I mean, he hasn't played a competition, I believe, mm. since the original BIPC. Uh, and that can be the difference, just being able to absolutely hammer your, well, within point two of your PB every single round. Yeah. Um, which people like Boz and Wizzy will have been doing for EMC, TM, uh, TMWT. 
Uh, yeah, I think, but we see Jono with a mistake. mistake. Yeah, second behind the other three cars at this point, but Hot Swap with a solid lead. It is also quite funny, as someone in chat has noted here, that uh, the Boomers are up against two players using kind of controller configurations that were probably yeah. <laughs> unheard of back when they were in their competitive primes. It's the wheel and the mouse player up against them. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, back when these two were in their prime, uh, I believe joystick was uh, one of the preferred input methods. So uh, yeah. yeah, wheel and wheel and mouse, interesting. Yeah, interesting they inputs. It's a draw, so we have more time to talk about these things. Hot Swap ran away with that one, and Jono's mistake will cost them the round. Hot Swap with a 53-8 there as well. Like That's quick. That radar. That's a good time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because we did have that British-Irish Christmas party a while ago, and I do you know, Hot Swap was talking about uh, the one brand of joystick that was uh, a few players definitely swore by at the time as well. Because <laughs> I... I believe there was all sorts of weird inputs as well because they it used to be that people would the smooth steering they would press mm. forward on the analog stick and then for like different percentages of steering would sort of do like diagonal and which yeah. just seems just bizarre nowadays like i don't think anyone does that anymore surely but, <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> maybe bring it back i mean yeah yeah i'll see if i can bring it back this close here up the front Battling with Boz again. There's the strange drift. I think Hotswap lost the gear a little bit there. Puts him 0.25 behind Boz. Can he get a nice drift here to catch up? Goes tight. I don't think he's going to have the speed to catch up, and Boz is going to take another one. Wizzy and last though, so we're going to have another draw. <laughs> well, I mean, I was joking about the boomers having work in the morning, but also I have work in the morning. I would like Same. to get out of here at some point tonight, and uh, we are locked in this round. This is sub match number two, and uh, I think I'm beginning to see the benefits of a world tour. Well, actually, in a world tour, 2v2 format as well. I mean, you could absolutely have a match go infinite with infinite draws as well. This is absolutely no different. The only difference yeah. being that it doesn't move anyone closer to a winning point, but honestly, the Zoomers have done a good enough job of that themselves. They just need to win a round at some yeah, point yeah, here, and they will be out of here. Sudden sudden death, almost. Well, no, I guess not sudden death, because they're not both on 4v4, but I mean, yeah, the, the Boomers have really got to keep it on the money every single round now, whereas the, the Zoomers can afford to have at least one of them make a mistake every single round and just mm. you know, go for the draw. Well, As we say, a hot swat gets a nose slide, and it's down to Jono, who's looked shaky. Can he pull it out of the bag? Needs to find three tenths. I mean, because needs to overtake Boz as well. Just overtaking yeah. Wizzy is not good enough. And so Jono will have to send it into the final corner. But Boz's lead is insurmountable. Wizzy will even catch back well. up to put the bow on it. And there are the Zoomers tying the score across two sub-matches at 1-1 one to one on Hockalicious. Yeah, and it's going to come down to, as I expected, Wolves. Walls. No, no, it's not going to be walls because we didn't. We had Hendo on the first one. Apologies. Yeah. No, it is going to be uh, Epos and Acros uh, against Pack and Chris. Um, two very experienced players. Uh, mm. Not an insult to them. Um, <laughs> but this is this is definitely. Uh, well, I mean, I can't speak for Pack, but this is definitely Chris's preferred style. So I think we're going to see some very nice times here from Chris. Um, yeah. Although. Possibly a bit of a disadvantage that he has got his mind in slightly different places because the MC uh, in EMC, good focus are currently playing uh, for promotion. Um, mm. So yeah, I think this could could really go down to the wire. I mean, we've got uh, Epos who was streaming this map earlier on in the week uh, and having a few issues on it, um, but still fast. Uh, and we've got Acros who is more known for grass. Uh, that type of thing, smooth steer type stuff, couple of day style. Obviously, still a very good player on compound tech in his own in his own right. But with someone like Pack on the team, you've got to say it's yeah. going to be it's it's going to be another boomer's whim. And us in the chat saying I'm clueless. What am I, what have I what have I <laughs> clueless? I, I am clueless about how clueless I am. Yeah, that's a classic. And uh, I will also note that while everything has been going on, Pac has once again improved the warm-up record down to a 53-7. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like, look, Pac is really, really quick at the moment as well. 
And uh, I think we should be getting pretty close, hopefully, to live rounds. There are only two players playing for each team at the moment, which in the past has been the live rounds. But it's unclear to me if these are currently live rounds. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Paddy? <laughs> <That's> the... <laughs> This is not live. Oh, we're fine. Okay, Two warm-ups okay. after this and we're good. I'm just just checking. I'd hate for anyone at home yeah. to miss the action because it has been that. wonderful so far. Also, big thanks to uh, Jay and Matt T for the, for the donations as well. And don't know the conversion rates, but we are over $1,000. <laughs> so <laughs> make of that we just, what you will. <laughs> the classic charity stream moment of just converting the currency that you're collecting yeah, donations on, in into whatever just... <laughs> sounds best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's that in yen? Could I? Uh... Yeah, let me just get that Zimbabwean dollars. Uh, yeah, oh, and uh, the raid from OC. Oh, thank you very much oh, for the raid, that. OC. Welcome, viewers, to a charity event in support of Mind and Smartens. I'd have to imagine most of the people over at OC's watching the Good Focus match are well aware of what is going on here, mostly members of the British Irish community. But just in case you're not, you're very welcome to the Boomers versus Zoomers match where we do answer that age-old question of whether it is better to have been playing Trackmania for a decade or have been focused all of your energies and time in the game on that most recent version. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're going to find out. I mean, we've, we've got people like Pat who, you know, put a lot of time into all of them, and I think that's going to really pay off. Although we're seeing Clip of the Wall there in the warm-up, but we'll, we'll ignore that one. <laughs> um, Chat didn't see it, and so it doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of people, as I say, who uh, in the original VIPC, when Pat did play, um, were sort of still coming into the game. I mean, you've got people like uh, Epos. I believe Epos only got into the round of 16 i think and now he's you know seeing world tour um yeah. same with acros i can't remember exactly where it was that acros got to but you know now uh runners up in emc so uh it's gonna be a cracking match i think we're possibly in for a lot of draws again possibly pack on the team getting point sevens chris has been hiding his pace or is off the pace <laughs> according to his uh, <laughs> according to his uh, in-game uh, local records but you know we 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 love Chris I think he's going to pull it out of the bag yeah uh, it'll be fun to watch for sure I mean look eyes are going to be on pack as they often are when he's driving uh, I mean, look, having teamed with Carl Jr. for the World Tour and Pac being with Carl Jr. and still being the aggressive player on that roster, the, the player who was being sent to hunt world records and yeah. kind of the fastest <laughs> time in rounds, is kind of a, that's a pretty solid statement of uh, everyone's confidence in your ability when Carl Jr. is saying, yeah. no, no, I'll go for consistency, <laughs> you go for speed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean... Just as a complete aside, uh, oh, we are actually about to start, but I mean, just the, the tactical and awareness from, from Carl Jr. as well is unbelievable. But yeah, Pack is the full, full send, full pace as we go into the first round here. You see, Akras with a bit of a dodgy drift, although Epos takes the lead here. Yeah, it is going to be uh, very, very close between everyone at the moment as Pack just rockets through the field. Great That's. Speed. Kind of shows you, right? This is competitive, just pure tech, and it's one good exit <laughs> does kind of just get you up the field in a heartbeat. Yep. And we see Chris 0.2, 0.3 behind. Can he snack Acros at the back, though? That would be that would be great if he can pick up a third place here uh, and rely on Pack to take Epos. Pack. They're battling out at the top. I thought Pack was going to get more speed there, but Epos retains a uh, 0 0.07 lead. Up to point one, it's going to come down to the last drift here. Oscar's wired for more speed, and he's going to take it here unless he clips, and he doesn't. And we've got a Zoomers win. All right, so what happens if the Zoomers win on Hockalicious? Well, they've got to be feeling pretty good now. We're going to head into the Zoomers call and hear how they're feeling. Oh, you're smoking them. Yeah, of course. Oh, you're smoking them. Chris, 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 Chris. Point five. Oh, Thomas. Oh, no. Oh, 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 o
Yeah, uh, it goes safety car, safety car, safety car, safety car, safety car. Okay. Is that the sound of the safety car? <laughs> yes. Wow, oh, super safe. Wow. Oh, that was almost. It's Thomas. 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 <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> oh yeah, Thomas. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that is a Get that in. is a stellar time from Pac TM. Um, really sh asserting dominance here, and we're going into the next round. Uh, let's see how these guys do. Yeah, it's looking pretty even so far. Uh, Zeph with a really inside line, in fact, that will compromise his speed slightly. Yeah, he's falling a little bit behind, but uh, they're going into a really uh, crucial section here. Will they get the no drifts? No. Zephyr going wide and he's going to hit. He's falling behind now. Oh yeah, but Pack is still up the front. He is battling with Epos. Epos with a slight lead, but Pack is taking a slightly wide line. He's going to get more speed coming into the no drift corner. They both take it absolutely perfect. Oh, Pack with an absolutely insane line. He's got a risk to save the red point. Take it away for the end hot slot. Yeah, he's coming up to the jump now. It's uh, pretty pivotal here. How's he got the speed? Uh, they're neck and neck here. Uh, but it looks like Pack has got the finish as long as he doesn't mess it up. Let's and go, he's got Thomas. it with seven. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, Doc, I was not aware that we were facing competition for our jobs tonight. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm. <laughs> I can't keep. I can't. I can't. Just, yeah. I can't get over it. Going. All right, let's hear what's going on in the Zoomers chat. <laughs> I mean, bless them. It's apparently working. Uh, they did manage to win a the second sub match, and I have completely lost track of what's happening in this sub match I, I, I since that no started. <laughs> I'd have to imagine that Pack winning every round is probably helping them at some point, uh, but we'll be, see. Yeah. Once we get to the end of the round here, we'll get them up on screen and we'll figure it out. But this is oh, looking, Chris. well, I was going to say, it's looking great for the boomers. And then Chris oh. boomed himself. He's thrown away a relatively easy win there. He had a, a mental boom, play with. if anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pat's still really quick, though, uh, leading the yeah, way. Let's see I mean... what the time is at the end of this round. It is a 52.6. That can't be 53.8. I was like, that can't be real. Eight. But no, okay. it was, <laughs> it was <laughs> not real. CP, it's still incredibly quick. <laughs> I mean, he dropped a, a 53.65 while we were well, in That was the first Zoom Boomers was... round win. Hang on. Huh? That can't be real. That score can't be real. That can't have been one. the first round that the Boomers won. I refuse. Or that was a that was a, no, that sorry. Was a it was one was to draw. zero, and that was it's a draw. Wrong. It has it's, all been draws. <laughs> it's all been draws, apart okay. from one round win for the Zoomers. Yeah, no, that tracks. Lord. That's fair. <laughs> I know what's going on, Liffy. Okay, <laughs> nobody in chat call me out. I am aware. I got thrown off. I was ready to keep track of what was going on as we listened in on voice comms, and then whatever was going on in the Zoomers call just threw me off my game. <laughs> I feel yeah. My I, I feel like my brain just shut down. <laughs> I feel like I have just been binge watched TikTok for five hours. Uh, this is uh, potentially a win for either team in this one. As there's two oh, battles going on, and it's Packing makes a mistake, and it's Chris as well. Oh, no. And in the high stakes moment, under pressure, it is the Zoomers who keep both cars out of the wall and walk away with a second round win. I see. Uh, I feel like Acros is just playing the the sort of the safer role. Just stick point three behind. I made the mistakes, and then just wait, just wait for Chris to hit the wall instead, and then let Epos yeah. do the uh, the pushing because uh, it's working. I mean, Epos is putting in point eights. Uh, all you've got to do is just wait for Pack to not do a point stick. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, the Hendo's issue is there, though, if, if, <laughs> specifically in this kind of format, you know, if, if you are relying on Pack making a mistake, it's going to be rare. <laughs> and in general, yeah, yeah. if Pack comes first every round, then it's more likely that one of the two of your team makes a mistake you have to feel. And there is one from a cross, but Chris has also made one. And so we're still sitting on a draw at the moment, as uh, Chris a long way behind the field on this one. And meanwhile, Pack and Epos will race up front. Pack holds the lead for the moment. 
He possibly will look to try and force a way through. Yeah. Just in the meantime, we've had a couple more donos from uh, Idol Liffy. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Did he go tighter <laughs> at the end to get him? He managed to snipe oh, at the finish the... line. Packed and it's a round win. Packed clipping the roof will cost. Oh. As all of a sudden, the zoomers. They do be zooming. Though. They are They're zooming. going quick. And they are out to a three-point lead in this sub-match. And have a two... Zero, no, a 1-1 one, one score. It's one, a 1-1 one, one, one this score. This is the decider. Leo Chris... did his job and is just sitting on the sidelines watching it fall <laughs> apart for the rest of the boomers. Arms crossed with a, a, a frown on his face. Chris, eight <laughs> seconds off the pace there. He's got to step it up and sort of leave. He's, he's got to get it in his head that the person that he's up against is Akros. He doesn't need to push to <laughs> keep up with Ethos. It is, is, it's two 1v1s here. It's Pack against Ethos and Akros against Chris. And Chris has just got to got to step it up here yeah just needs to manage to find a way past the crows because well there will be a crash from chris once again he's hit a wall he'll be falling behind and epos is still in a position where if something similar happens that's just epos sniping pack and once again all the pressure stays on pack in this round epos is close behind pack has better speed on the exit just don't hit a roof won't who finishes the round in first and epos in second and across in thirds mean say with draw. me a draw <laughs> in <Yeah>. another round <laughs> Is that another 53, another Six, 53 seven, eight. from Pac? Yep. I mean, Epos, that They're is great. Quick. I don't know why I keep switching between Epos and Epos. Epos. It's my fault. It's because I keep saying, I keep switching say them. Epos? And I think, no, I think I oh, have been Pac switching between Epos slide. and Epos. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Chris has how got to put out the back here. about 4-0? Ooh, how do I feel about 4-0? Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, uh, they're going to struggle to pull this one back. It doesn't matter how well Pac does. There's always going to be a round where he can get a point eight. Epos can keep his point sevens coming, and uh, Akros has just got to get that third place. Yeah, so well, I don't want to use the word insurmountable here, but mm. I might do. It's getting that way. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not well, insurmountable, but possibly unclimbable, untenable. Unclimbable, but Chris yeah. is very much. In All a position the at the moment where he could catch Epos, but Epos Locked is clean it. through that final yeah. turn. It keeps it out of the wall. While it looks like Chris, maybe it's slightly more speed, will not catch. And it will be now match point here for the Zoomers as we head we back into the chaos. The DMs. <laughs> Chris, good saving. Good saving. Oh, good focus. I'm destroying Thomas. Thomas. Uh, One more. Go, go. Chris, uh, no it's fine. As well. beat. <laughs> Chris no slid as well. You got 0.5 acres. Wait, what's the news on Thomas? Uh, oh, five ahead. Yeah. Oh, you just you just absolutely obliterated him. What a noob. Oh, I had the mini clip. That's fine. The recall. Yeah, Acro is point six. You're safe. You're chilling. Oh, that was a good drift. Am I ahead? You have one of the half six, so you could probably try the end. Oh, equal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good end. Unlucky. That's fine. That's fine. Ah, uh, is it? I think yeah, I'm yeah. getting sniped. Ah, you're good. You. Ooh. Oh, wow. close, close. Unlucky. Uh, it was a good I tried to snipe the Thomas, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth the push, though. It was worth the push. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> he did, in fact, try to snipe for Thomas, and uh, it did not work. <laughs> that is the first point that the Zoomers have given up in nearly two full sub-matches, Doc. Yeah, it's been impressive. It's been an impressive display, from and there we see Chris again with a less impressive display. Uh, finds himself quite a way behind again. And Pack has got to feel like he's he's really carrying her. It's just him him against Epos every time. I mean, Epos that was very close at the end there. Epos was unlucky mm. to hit the inside of the pole, just pushed it too hard. Yeah, has been uh, very very impressive from Epos, and we'll see if Pack can hold him off for one more round. It's going. 
To be necessary, Chris has once again fallen a long way down the field, and Epos looks to maybe even have the advantage over Pac now, heading into the final turn. Pac needs an incredible exit. Looks like he might have gotten it, and oh, Epos oh, hits the wall. Pac cruises through a happy first place there, and a Crows and Epos will settle for another draw. Gonna be another draw. And uh, a big donor there from Fua. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Uh, remember to put in uh, any messages or any predictions into your uh, donations in the comments. And uh, yeah, let us know how many draws you think there's going to be in that. <laughs> Several more. <laughs> yeah. Several more draws, at least, because we have two more maps to go after this. Of course, only one more in this format. Only one more map that these teams have seen before tonight. For our third map of the evening, we are heading to a map neither team has seen before in a kind of track of the day style. Uh, and we'll see what it's that means. One. My prediction is full speed grass. I haven't seen the map. <laughs> so uh, I it's heard track of the day blender. style. And <laughs> as far as I know, that's, that's all it means. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's full blender. Uh, it's set in um where, where would be a suitable setting for boomers and then you could transition into somewhere for oh, Pac's oh hang on inside. this is it it's over this hockey, yeah, this is hockey I, uh, officially hockey renamed to hockey walkie <laughs> if the zoomers <laughs> win here coined by epos last week now made official oh. as epos and a crows just like their teammates did in the last sub match cruise across the line in one two formation to wrap things up and wow. that means it is a two one to the Zoomers overall on Hockalicious. Yeah. I mean, I don't think anyone was really expecting that. Um, I thought, I mean, I said at the start, I thought it was going to be a clean sweep, especially with Leo's powerhouse performance in the 1v1. Um, and yeah, I've been, I've been proven wrong. It turns out Zoomers can play tech. <laughs> well, I, I think the Zoomers may have been as surprised as anyone else, given that, it, you know, it was chaos. They were having fun with it when we jumped into comms there for a little while. <laughs> and then once they started to actually get that lead, it sounded a little bit sweatier in there all of a sudden, Doc. Yeah, it, it very much turned from dog noises uh, and various uh, zoo-type stuff going on in there <laughs> into uh, calls for... Just taking things safe, just getting it across the line. Calls of you've got point five to Chris, who's hit the wall again behind you. Um, yeah, the the tone changed when they could sniff out a win on tech. Yeah. And as we get ready to load into our second match of the night, Heartfelt, uh, we're looking forward to starting that one. But we will remind you once again that this event is a charity event organized by British Irish Track Mania in uh, support of two wonderful mental health charities in the British Isles, Mind and Samaritans. You can get the link to donate in chat with exclamation mark donate. Yeah, so this is one of the maps that has been custom made by our fantastic mapping team of, well, two-man mapping team of Jorde and Gilo. Uh, this one is more in the vein of like Hardy MC, um, TM World Tour, but without the jank, without the identities, thank <laughs> God. Um, it's a very tricky map. There's some, there's some really interesting parts on it. Um, they've done a great job, done a really good mm. job. Um, and it looks great as well. Uh, yeah. The scenery on it, as I said before, is sort of consistent between all the maps um and then when you stick the charity signs on there as well it looks great um yeah there's a couple of spicy sections a couple of real spicy sections there's a, a lovely little grass quarter pipe type transition-y thing that people are going to see um there's going to be uh there's a, a very precise uh section sort of in the middle there's a plastic bit at the start where it's very easy to lose gears um all in all that it, it's it's a map where it's strung together lots of tough sections, but there's nothing in there that isn't rounds viable or is complete jank or just not not fun to play. Um, I would actually recommend um, it is in the British uh, British and Irish Trackmania Club in game if people want to play it. It is a very good map. Um, it's good fun. Good fun. Yeah, and we are. I believe we're going to go uh, get some player interviews from see yeah. how, they, how they feel after the first map. Yeah, uh, I think there is one question. Before we talk about how that match went, before we talk about the shocking upset of the Zoomers over the Boomers on Hockey Walkie, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is, what's going on in your call? What's happening over there? Uh, I don't know, dude. We're just Zoomers, isn't it? It's the Zoom energy. Is, it full on, is there a meaning behind the dog 
noises? <laughs> is, is, are you like uh, rabid or? Absolutely not. There is no meaning. It's just something we do when we do good. And if we do good, we bark. You know what I mean? Understandable. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, okay, Epos, how confident was the team going into that one? Because it looked pretty confident. That was kind of a sweep across the back two sub matches there. I don't know, dude. I knew Mr. Thomas was going to be here, like outshining all of us. But I thought <laughs> if he crashes, then it's fucking game time, you know? Wait, that's my one. That's my one, isn't it? I've got my one swear word. I've done well, my one. Okay. Actually, well, it's going to be unfortunate for the Zoomers who will be playing without one player for the rest of the evening. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're going to have to kick you from the event, I think. Oh, uh, we'll get an admin on that. Sort of. <laughs> no, we'll figure it out. Uh, and speaking of Thomas, it has been very confusing with producer Thomas and player Thomas as well. Pack, how are you feeling Hello. after that match? <laughs> oh, God. It's just, it was, it's, it was very challenging. Very challenging. Um, <laughs> No, it was, it was good fun. I mean, I don't, I don't mind that at all. It was, it was nice to put out some good times. You know, try and yeah. try and push Epos a little bit because you know he's, nice. he's he's got the record, so you know it hurts a bit. Oh. But, uh, that <laughs> happened, and so I was trying to go for it. Uh, but no, I think uh, they they looked they looked ready and trained on the map, so it was it was always going to be a hard deal to keep winning rounds. And it seems that every time I crashed, Chris did good, and every time Chris crashed, <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was a t it was a difficult one. <laughs> that, it's kind of the worst way to play. Is like we could just string a couple of these good rounds together at the same time. Things would feel very very. <laughs> but you did better than the other two v two team from your side. So you know what? There's positives there. We take that as a win. We take that as you a got win. a to whole get that point. One point was that was big. That was big <laughs> news. Moral <laughs> victory. If all else fails, turn to infighting. <laughs> <laughs> how, are you, how are you feeling on on? The mix map coming up. Are you? Would you say you're full trained? Would you say you're consistent? <laughs> I say I'm full trained. Jesus, no. I'm, <laughs> I mean, I played Hockalicious less than this one. Um, yeah, no. This one. I mean, this one's all right. I mean, I could do okay. I think we'll see. It's a lot more gears to think about. Um, so yeah, I've played about an hour and a half. I think the track. So we'll we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, obviously, I'm no doubt playing against Bob. The big one v one. So hopefully, hopefully it goes all right. As long as it's not seven, as long as it's not seven nil, I will take it. I will take it. <laughs> it would be very unfair of Boz to do him dirty like that. You're absolutely right, Pack. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Of course, yeah, yeah. No, well, I mean, chat's been calling for it all night, and uh, it sounds like maybe that's the one v one we're going to get to see. Uh, so fingers crossed. I mean, I say fingers crossed. It's absolutely your guys' decision, and if we don't get to see it, we will be calling out whichever team doesn't send out Packer Boz for the one v one. So just keep that in mind. And uh, thank you very much for joining us in the interview. Best of luck on our second map this evening. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Good luck. With that, I think we are uh, starting to get ready to get into this. Uh, <laughs> I've been pulled down into the Zoomers chat for a second there, so that was an exciting adventure I had. I thought I'd completely cut off for a minute there. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it's still terrifying down there. <laughs> so, okay. I arrived in, I heard him yell, and I got pulled back out immediately. <laughs> 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 oh god is it still still full on animal house in there <laughs> i don't even know whose meow it was marina's not playing for either of these teams I think I mean, what's going on it's, out there it's, it's probably wizzy yeah wizzy wizzy <laughs> just strikes me as a cat guy more than a woman <laughs> so uh, I mean, wizzy probably does own a pair of cat cat ear headphones that seems reasonable it, to make see, an assumption about i should have asked twiggy if i could borrow his cat ears oh that would have made so much sense and then I would have, I, so I, I was tempted to go suit and then yeah. suit and cat ears. Would suit, have uh, that's the vibe. I mean, I think you're just starting to hit actual supervillain because like super <laughs> cats are supervillain coded, right? Like oh, yeah. we understand that. You know? I mean, if I was going to go full supervillain, I would do full suit, just Tash, cat ears. Ah, then, <laughs> it's a good the look. Full, the that's full, the problem uh, is if I go full suit and just mustache, I do start to look like the maitre d' in a restaurant very, very quickly. <laughs> like, you know, nice upscale French stuff. Like, oh, did yeah, Monsieur Vincent show his head? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it is uh, definitely a problem. It's, you know, back when I went to 21st during November, many years oh. ago now, and you'd show up in a tuxedo because someone was trying to be fancy, and I'd have the mustache. Rough time. Get mistaken nice. for the waiter at every table. Oh, Lord.
<laughs> I, I've said that has only ever happened to me in a Weatherspoons, and I feel like people <laughs> overestimate the amount of service you get in a Weatherspoons. <laughs> it is very funny to just be like, well, where are you most, like that personality test, where are you most likely to be mistaken for a waiter? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, well, I mean, literally, you get all your own cutlery, and she was asking me, it's like, oh, can I have, uh, can I have like a knife and fork? And I was like, I'm, I'm literally like wearing fucking Converse, like, what do you want from Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, well, uh, unfortunately, you're going to get kicked off the broad. We've got rid of Epos already, and now you're gone as well, Doc. I'm gone. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, it's Although, just deeply it, unfortunate. It, it, you're allowed one one swear in a in a PG12, is it, or a, mm. or a, a 12A well, film? It, so well, now my... we've got two. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure, if you want to go with that defense, but also now we've got two. So, <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. We are getting ready to get into this. We're going to be going for two warm ups and then live. So, we do have a little bit more time to fill on this one. As you said, this is going to be our mixed competitive map. This was meant to be where the Zoomers shined, but they kind of already took off a little bit on Hawkalicious, managing to take the map 2 1 across the sub matches. But we're going to have a fiery start to this one. Pack versus Boz, the battle the people were waiting for. And I mean, genuinely, there's a reason we are excited to see it. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. I think uh, Boz has probably had more time to put in on this. Uh, we know that Boz likes to put in a lot of time when it comes to cop maps. Uh, especially when, when you look at uh, the amount of time you put in on BIPL and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, like th this is going to be... Uh, the big one between sort of the two generally accepted best players possibly well I mean it's a tough one but yeah mm. um, so we've got uh, Boz with two BIPL wins under his under his um, under his belt uh, which Pack doesn't show up for so this is the time for Boz to prove that he, he could take him yeah, it'll be super interesting. Exactly as you say, Boz has been uh, dominating the local competition while Pac has been off doing big boy things in the big yeah. leagues. <laughs> so uh, it's time to see if the local leagues have grown since Pac kind of left them behind a little while ago and yeah. if they can take the fight to them. I mean, the answer is yes already, given what we saw in the last <laughs> round. But it's going to be fun to see the 1v1 specifically between the two of these on a map that I think, realistically, you know, Pac is playing for the boomer side, but competitive mixed is the style that he has put the most into over recent matches memory because that's just the yeah. competitions he's playing right so these yeah. are both players kind of coming in on their home turf as it were yeah it's uh off the boomer team he is the one who would be most suited to something like this obviously the, the others dabble but um pack is the one who is uh most embedded into the world of mixed uh mixed what um, the hell is the word that I'm looking for? Mixed, mixed maps. Comp? There we mixed go. Maps, competitive, sure. mixed, mixed competitive maps. Jesus. Yep. <laughs> uh, you can tell I'm on the boomer side. I'm losing, the, <laughs> losing my faculties. Um, and I, I've also completely forgotten the point that I was trying to make now. <laughs> <laughs> Pack is good at mixed, Pack I think, is all that mixed. needs to be said. All, yep. Yeah, that is all yep. we need. Um, that tracks. <laughs> yeah, oh, we got there eventually. We got there in yeah. the end. Yeah, and once again, uh, we will just remind people while we have this brief chance before we get back into the action that this is a charity event in support of Mind and Samaritans, two charities that do great work for mental health in the British Isles. You can find a donation link in chat. And thank you very much to everyone who has already donated. Doc, how much are we up to in donations so far? I would love to tell you that in pounds, but unfortunately I can't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see it when we get into game, and we're going to be getting into dollars. game right now as Pack versus Boz. It takes to the track, and we will see how things go underway here. And I believe we have a quick substitution on the caster desk as well for these first couple of rounds as we will be racing up to seven again. We are up to nearly a thousand pounds on the evening already. Thank you very much, everyone, for getting your donations in. Hello, Thomas. Uh, I don't know if my mic's picking up. Chat, anyone? Can chat hear producer Thomas? He was talking there. Hello. What you about now, have... chat? Hello. How good? How yeah, good? Bab says the people can hear you, unfortunately. Hey, welcome. Oh, Buzz, where are you going, buddy? Buzz? Uh, oh, oh, he's taking what? the wide line. It's working. Pack, where was Pack going? I asked the wrong player. Thomas, I'm sorry to cut off your introduction, but this is more important because this is a very exciting battle out on track at the moment. Pack is a little bit behind Boz at the moment, but heading up into that risky fin, Boz will hold onto the lead. And that outside dirt, I'm not sure. Is that a different line that Pack is choosing to take a little bit safer, or is that just a mistake that he made in that round? No way of knowing, Nua. Um, pleasure being here. Uh, production's been crazy. Don't know what the Zoomers are up to. Uh, just to let everyone know who's watching at home, none of that was planned. Uh, the Zoomers what? barking 
the boomers oh. <laughs> doing the casting. Uh, none of that was planned. That was all just off their own. Uh, I'll level with off you. their own back. I, I, I'd be more worried if it was planned. To be honest, I, that is a good point. Uh, that is a good point. <laughs> but yeah, the Boz v Pack one v one here. We're very much looking forward to it. Um, I I think one of you mentioned if you can rely on one thing, it's that Boz has probably grinded this map. Uh, mm. Perhaps more than he would care to admit. Um, but Pack is still <laughs> Pack. So uh, you know, we'll see uh, who does the line. Mm, that, oh. What? Is that it's, a wall uh, bang? Is it a wall bang? I believe the chat has some idea of what's going on. Uh, we have mappers in there. Jorde, mapper of the map, this map, the one that you're watching right now, saying that he did not believe that that line would be viable. Here's Boz proving him wrong, uh, taking a second round in a row up against Pack. That so we'll we'll stay on board with Boz uh, for the it's next round. Exactly. For all you for all you mouse enjoyers, uh, we'll stay on board with. Um, with the boss, and then I will hand you back to Doc after this round. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Back on board with boss. See how he is getting on. It has been very close these uh, these two rounds that we've opened with. Uh, I think it's fair to say both players are fairly well warmed up. Pack coming off the back of that uh, that very very close, <clears throat> not that close uh, loss that he just experienced uh, alongside Chris. Uh, but Boz uh, has obviously been practicing. I think he was practicing offline because he joined the server very late. Uh, but now we will be on board to see what he is doing with this dirt. It looked like a wall bang from Pac's perspective, I... but we'll see what he does here. He goes up. No, he does nothing. <laughs> he I... knew you were watching. Outrageous. He got shy. Boz, with just not enough speed to execute the outside dirt, will stay low this time around. And looks like Pac will be getting a round back, barring any mistakes towards the finish line on this round. Just need to hit that risky fin one more time. Pack in. Score a 2-1 to one in Boz Bez's favor, but Pac strikes back. And anyway, back to your preferred caster, everyone. Uh, the return of Doc. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> preferred caster, uh, wow. That's high praise. And uh, what we discovered <laughs> while you were gone, Doc, is that Balls has been cooking and has an outside dirt line that's pretty fast. He did oh. not manage to hit it in that last round. Uh, it does look like, you know, he, I, he had a slight clip and there is a clip early on as well. I don't know if he's even going to attempt oh. the outside dirt later on in this round as Pac just cruises into the lead. But it is working for Boz. It looks to be worth maybe even two tenths, which seems is absurd it? to say for an outside dirt line. But uh, it is quick. Is it the, the, the earlier long flat outside dirt or is it it the... is this dirt coming this dirt that they are entering now ah. yeah oh. oh pause is going for it there that dirt has been working for them when they are close entering it whoa that is that looks risky as hell does yeah. he do a little break <laughs> tap coming in i might have to i'm gonna turn on uh, we're gonna have to, yeah you're gonna have to <laughs> figure that out for us let us know exactly what's going on but uh i mean it hasn't been going wrong there for boz as risky as it does look it has been a couple of it was the lead up into it he clipped something on the way in last time this time around obviously a very early clip as boz points out that step one of winning rounds is actually to just drive around the track and uh struggling a little bit with that at the moment yeah yeah although Pack not putting in the greatest times at the moment, so I feel like Boz will still be feeling confident even after uh, after, uh, after that clip on the inside and plastic. Uh, and as we go into the next round, we see Pack gets a better line through that dirt, but there's still nothing in it really. Both with great dirt lines here, down into the sausage. Boz sets up a little bit wider. He's going to get slightly more speed possibly through that very precise section there. They're making that look very easy. I had real trouble lining that one up when I tried to play this. Uh, Here we go. Are we going to see Boz crack out the outside dirt? He does. And he snaps out of it as well. Oh, that is beautiful. It's, and he's played it? two five ahead straight away. That is... Yeah. It seems absurd oh. for an outside dirt line to be worth as much as it is. But Boz is genuinely gaining two to three tenths almost every time they enter that turn Jeez. level. And that may just prove to be the difference maker here between Boz and Pack on this one, because other than that turn, I'd struggle to separate them so far. Uh, can we have confirmation from Mapper in the chat if that is intended? They have confirmed it is <laughs> not intended. That it's they not. did not think it was possible, and chat has ever since been roasting them about not putting a pole there to block it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you can everywhere. <laughs> exactly, and sometimes like, you just I, miss I things. Like, yeah, I kind of like the fact that you're you know, it's always fun. the opportunity to discover yeah. you know, these little tricks and tips and bits and bobs. <laughs> 
Sometimes um, it's fun to have Boz go away and cook something up. In-game yeah. <laughs> chat as well. Players from both teams have pointed out that uh, if Pac manages to quick learn the, the line during rounds, he would be a god. <laughs> I'll say it's unlikely, I, personally. I but he does a bit of time. Pac has got He's going on. for He's it. Going for He's it. quick learned it. He's <laughs> doing it. He's still behind on this round, but uh-oh. Boz's advantage may not be insurmountable. It is going to be, it looks like, 4-2 to two in favor of Boz after this round. But that still means that there is time for Pac yet in this match. It's up to 7. There's a chance. So I think Boz still, in the end there, gained about 0.1 to 0.15. So I think possibly the ending bit as well is also one of the trickier parts of this. That I think Boz has got down. Uh, so, But I think this is going to get interesting now. Now that uh, Pack has figured out the best lines. <laughs> <laughs> now that Pack has the answer. The question is, can the rest of the boomers quick learn it in time as well? <laughs> we do have two more sub-matches to go after this. All of them just uh, frantically practicing on another... Uh, <laughs> yeah, God. Also had a donation yeah. from Blueberry. Thanks very much. It's, it's, it's Good job, hot, hot short. My fave... Favorite <laughs> Irish person because he is fast. Yep, is that an Gaelic excellent comment? <laughs> no, that is. I, it's copy pasta, and I don't know where it came from. It feels like a YouTube comment. Okay. Boz is just behind Pack, who has successfully managed to quick learn the outside dirt in the space yeah. of a couple of rounds, and it may not matter anyway because Boz is still pushing. This is the battle for the round, and Boz oh. will snipe. By 15,000's move to 5 and 2, and it doesn't matter how good Pac is at picking up on the line. It doesn't matter how quick he is, what he's won in the past, because right now, Boz has a lead of three straight rounds. Unbelievable. It seems like Boz is still... Boz has, has maximized that corner, it looks like, because Pac is getting it very well, but Boz still is just getting a load of more speed out of it. And you can see him at the start of this round again, taking an early lead, and he will only... Oh, he clips the outside. I was well, about to say, he will only <laughs> extend that. <laughs> but we see Pack here with about a 0.5 lead ahead, and he's... I would be interested to see if he's going to save this dirt now. <laughs> yeah, he might. He is six tenths ahead. Pack heading into the dirt this time. I mean, just going to take the practice anyway. He didn't really, yeah. really push it there. <laughs> I mean, he went for the outside dirt, but it wasn't as close to the wall as we've seen maybe Boz get on some of those previous turns. It will be a round win, it looks like, for Pack, barring any big mistake. He's going slow. He's moving pretty oh, slowly. No. Oh, Surely no. there's not a chance. Surely there's not enough track left. There isn't. <laughs> but Boz got closer than you'd think. It is exactly a tenth between them at the finish Jesus. line. And Pack has three rounds, and each of those three rounds, Doc, has come off the back of a mistake from Boz, which is a scary himself, place to be. It's it's but it's a scary place to be as the player that's relying on mistakes from your opponent to pick up round wins. Yeah, yeah, but if Boz is going to keep making them. Pack will uh, <laughs> will slurp those up all day. So we're at five three now, is it? Five three, five two, five three, five five three, five five three. three. So feels like Boz has possibly expended the early advantage that he had from uh, the hidden lines. Yeah, <laughs> and now I think it's going to be a lot closer. Um, it'll be interesting to see whether Pack can, can sort of show his natural talent here, just na just being naturally faster, pick this up this line up much quicker although he hasn't pushed that as much and i think boz is going to take this here yeah boz does look comfortable very good towards the finish line as well boz has been the player with the better ends it's looked like as well on these rounds nearly managing snipe last round sniping around before that as well and it will be boz moving to six and three and then sub match point looking to put the zoomers mm -hmm. up one zero here yeah. on heartfelt it seems like uh Seems like Pack just goes wide on that um, on the very end of the track as well, and Boz goes very nice and tight. It's a tricky one to get the sort of the, the input combination right to get the ni nice line on it. But it seems like Boz has got it down, swinging mm. his mouse wildly all over the table. Um, while I was talking, <laughs> Boz has just hit the first pole. Uh, Boz called himself <sighs> out for it in the previous round and said, uh, "I cannot drive this start help." And, uh... <laughs> 
well, it definitely does seem to be a little bit of a struggle at the moment. But I mean, again, I'll say it. I think this is, assuming this round goes Pax way, which why wouldn't it right now? It has been six <laughs> round wins on pace from Boz. Sure, a few of them before Pac figured out the line. And looking like four round wins for Pac off big errors from Boz. And that, I, that's a crazy place to be in a match where it's so clearly defined which player has the pace but is pushing a little bit harder. Yeah. Uh, are we seeing a repeat of um, BIPC2 where Boz was coming in expecting to win uh, as he had a lot more time on the maps than than Epos uh, and then threw it away in the final. Epos yeah. picking that one up. Um, so yeah, oh, I'm hearing in my ear, we have reached a thousand pounds, which is amazing. Absolutely That's amazing. Incredible. Blueberry, thanks for another donation. Uh, <laughs> Just to round that up to insane. a thousand. <laughs> much, much appreciated. Again, incredible supporting our two charities here, Mind and Samaritans. And uh, with all of the action that we could be hoping for at an event like this as well, the action has been great and the support has been even better from everyone in the community. Thank you so much for the donation so far. And the evening's not over yet. We still have balls and pack out on track. We still have two more sub matches here on Heartfelt. And then we move into the final track of the night, the secret couple of day style track that nobody has yet seen. Balls just needs one more round. Pack would need to pick up three in a row to deny the sub match win now, and it is neck and neck. Pack, it'll be hard to push on this turn. It oh, is Boz who can just take it a little bit harder. He's practiced it. Pack is learning Pack as he goes, and Pack will clip, well. and that surely is all she wrote as Boz cruises into a lead of eight tenths of a second. Pack looks for cuts, <laughs> and why wouldn't he? Boz will cross the line with seven round wins and take sub match one over Pack. Wow. What a game. What a game. I thought it was going to be... Oh, yeah. Pack. <laughs> Come on, Pack. <laughs> and we'll I sit here time until Pack time's out. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Madness. I, I thought it was going to be... I mean, it is still close. 7-4 is very good. And Pack, as he said, he has not trained a huge amount. But that is mad that he managed to get it that close from a very trained Boz who knows the lines and can clearly push them very, very hard to pack learning them mid round and yeah. still bringing it to seven four. It, it yeah, a great, great spectacle. Um it would be nice to have them both full trained. I think we still haven't yeah. fully answered that question. <laughs> but, we do <laughs> pack in is, chat in the game there saying, uh, let me have the lines next time, smiley face. It's <laughs> 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 just all in good fun. And I, it, I mean, scary there, I think, for the Zoomer team in how quickly Pack uh, picked up that line. Obviously, didn't look as comfortable on it as Boz did. And yeah. how could he have? But Pack did pick that up and we're heading to a fast learn section next, right? <laughs> like that's yeah, a after the next worrying sign. Yeah, you've got Pack who can pick things up very, very quickly. Uh, he leaked in the players chat that he doesn't really train that much for World Tour either. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and then we've also got players like Chris, who is a fast learn specialist. Um, mm. If he's playing at yeah. that point. Um, and we are, I'm hearing in my ear that we are going to be joined by Victor, the one and only Bosbez. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Do you would you class yourself now as officially the number one uh, British player? I'll be honest, mate. I play kind of shit, so no. <laughs> <laughs> You sure? I, oh, like, I'll, we'll put it this way, Boz. That, um, the line did work for you, right? Well, no, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Like, but, one to point two faster? I probably would have beat him without it, but, like, yeah, life. Yeah, and, uh, like, with that said, because Pac did a great job, he actually adapted to it mid-race, you know? Like, you, know, like yeah. you can't learn that line well mid-race. But uh, he, he was still losing a little bit of time, but the, the deficit yeah. that you were that he was losing to you through that turn, it was kind of two to three tenths at the start of the match, yeah. and then he was matching you on it and losing maybe half a tenth from That's not brilliant. executing it as well as you, so... Yeah. Genuinely just on pace as well, you were up there. You were the player who had the pace in that match. But as you say, you maybe made a couple more errors. <laughs> uh, I could have driven a bit faster as well, I'll be honest. But Epos will do it for me. I'm ready 0.7 waiting club. <laughs> we have like a 0.75 and 0.78 PBs for reference. Oof. Ooh, that's fast. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, we see Leo dropping a... Oh, wait, that's in the wrong second. I, I did lots of point eights just now and we're warming up. <laughs> so I like, really expect Epos will drive some point eights. Yeah, uh, hopefully we do get to point eights on this one. Uh, I got to say then as well, though, uh, now that that's out of the way for you, you get to sit back, watch, relax on uh, the rest of this map. 
Are you ready mentally then for our final map of the evening? Ready for our quick learn section? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that Pac managed to at least approximate learning that secret line in the middle of the match doesn't scare you at all. I mean, there's only one player, right? Like, <laughs> true. Eh, Fair not point. scared of Chris? Not scared of Chris on fast line? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like if the map's even a little bit calculated, I'm just better, I think. And Ethos is better. And we're like the most, like two goofiest, can't learn a map players. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you're obviously going to be up 2-0 by the time you reach that map and it'll all be for fun anyway, is that correct? Yeah, uh, but like, <laughs> it's for fun anyway. So. <laughs> pride. This is true. Pride is for pride. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, uh, I think we are getting pretty close to getting into this next round. So, Boz, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, we will hopefully talk to you again later. And if we don't, then uh, it's been a pleasure. Yes. See ya. See ya. Bye to Boz. Who uh, who knows if he'll be back later. I have, I also haven't commented on your t-shirt, Doc. Um, terrifying. Oh, what? Oh, this this little thing. This yeah, old yeah. thing. I yeah, just yeah. Sl slipped <laughs> I something just more comfortable on. Yeah. on. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I gotta say, if I ever end up going back home with someone, you know, and they say, let me just slip <laughs> into more comfortable, and then it, they came out with a t-shirt covered in their own face. It's, Terrifying. It's I'm a, running for the door. It's actually really nice material as well. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. So it, it's, uh, it's from my stack day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, that's all, that is a very, I, we're, was everyone in the stag party wearing them? No, everyone in the stack, so basically the my best man organized like a, a shit shirt competition okay. and then people like draw a raffle to get the awful shirts um <laughs> so this this was one uh of them uh the one that i ended up wearing was a picture of um andrew tate's mug shot and it said pop g <laughs> underneath it and it oh. was really bad oh. was <laughs> that's i mean um, that's now you're getting into territory of like shirt that will get you beaten up in a bar yeah, i think yeah. almost like that <laughs> yeah well one of the other guys had one that it was bright orange said just stop oil wanker across the bottom of it it was <laughs> uh, it was really bad um the others were a bit tamer but yeah those those are the ones that you got shouted at for <laughs> but <laughs> yeah I don't know what would be worse, someone like coming up to me to support the Andrew Tate shirt or coming up to attack me. Like, <laughs> neither of those options sound appealing, honestly. No, but it was. Yeah. Let's move on, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Back, <laughs> to the, back to the, the nice, Back uh... to the matches. Have we figured out who is playing in our first 2v2? It is Epos and the Kroos for the Zoomers. And the Boomers were having trials. Uh, no, they weren't. It was Jono and Chris <laughs> to play in this team. It is nice to see uh, both sides are shaking up the teams for this second map as well. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not sticking to uh, to the same duos. Uh, do we know who it is on Zoomers? Is it Epos, Epos Acros? It is Epos Acros. Yeah. Ah, interesting. Yeah. So I mean, still still one by team. So yeah, yeah. They 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 know each other inside out. Well, they know how they play inside out. Um, so yeah, it's going to be. I think I think they might take it. As yeah, Tom in the chat saying they can't believe they haven't done walls. I can't either. Walls can't be saved for the last map because it is not the correct format for them to play it. So uh, no walls. Yeah, it's shame. It's just done. Real shame. It's over. Yeah, the dream is gone. But uh, hey, the Zoomers are out to a pretty solid start, and uh, we'll see if all of the Zoomers have been practicing this outside dirt later in the map. If the lines have been shared. As Chris and Jono, we'll see if they've managed to get any practice in since that was revealed. <laughs> if they frantically left the server, I'll guess. I'll say probably not. No, I, uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We're coming into it now. Jono goes safe. Chris goes wide and hits the wall. At Chris goes safe. <laughs> Epos risks it. Okay, so I think that might be what we uh, see a bit more. Epos I'll risking see. it and At Chris just taking it safe. Same, same as in uh, Poco. And it's the 54-9 to kick things off for Epos as well. We saw the, the wow. prediction from Boz that someone will manage to sneak down below the 54-9 into those 54-8s and uh, maybe even a 54-7 or 6. We'll hold yeah. on and see. Yeah, if he warms <laughs> up into it. Uh, I mean, that's that's a that's a great time to start off. And so we'll see if he gets into it a bit more, whether he can push the uh, 0.8s. Uh, what did he say his yeah. PB was? A 0.7? I think so, yeah. Something we'll like that. We will see. 
Yeah, and we will, uh, while the Zoomers run away with this one, take everyone take a moment to remind everyone that our charities that we are supporting tonight at this charity event are Mind and Samaritan. And just because we've hit a lovely round number of £1,000 doesn't mean that you have to stop donating. You're allowed to go over that. We don't <laughs> have to stop at 1000 It is satisfying, though, but yes. <laughs> it is satisfying, and I think I'm just worried that that's, you know, listen, it was a lovely thing that Barry did bringing us up to the nice round number. But we're just, <laughs> I don't want to get stuck there, okay? <laughs> it's also really nice that uh, exactly equal between the two as well. Both on yeah. 500. Nice. Nice. Lovely. So someone's going to uh, donate a single pound to just throw it off. Yeah. <laughs> they might. Uh, that'll be a round oh. win for no one. Nobody. A draw. Yeah. I was think. making a big mistake. I missed that. Yeah, uh, I kind of I wasn't expecting it. I was ready for the Zoomers to start to run away with it, and it looked like they were. But in this format, one big mistake from one player is enough to throw an entire round onto its head. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, I mean, it looks like just pace wise, uh, the Zoomers have got it. I mean, by the time you get to the weird grass uh, court pipe transitioning type thing, they've generally got like point three point four lead on your typical round. Um, mm. But yeah, I think it might come down to mistakes. Um, they've got to keep it clean if they want to take this home. Although Epos is speeding ahead, but Jono not far behind. Jono here, I think a lot of people were expecting him to be one of the slower uh, members of the Boomer team as he actually makes his way into first here with Epos hitting the inside there. Does go safe. Is Epos going to risk it to try and catch back up? He's only 0.2 behind. Epos took the safe line as well. The mistake, meaning he'd lost too much speed to risk the outside dirt there, is still very close behind Jono yeah, on this Jono one. gone too safe? I might have, especially tight. at this finish. Oh, that was close. That Jeez. was close. Half a tenth, but Jono does hold on to the lead for the Boomers. And yeah, respect to Jono for uh, clearly putting a bit of time into the map as well. Managing to hold off Epos at the end there. As you say, Jono in particular, one of the players who maybe is a little bit less active even than some of the other Boomer players on that team yeah. at the moment in Trackmania 2020 specifically. And uh, is holding his own on a very modern style of map on this mixed comp. Definitely, yeah. I mean, if this was a badminton contest, he'd be thrashing. Uh, but unfortunately, it's in TM 2020, so... Uh... Can you... Is, can I get a, an explanation? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Jono very, very good at badminton. Like traveling oh. the country doing badminton tournaments. Dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, B I T M badminton. That's B. The the next logical step for British Irish Track Mania to expand into organizing <laughs> is badminton, badminton tournaments. I yeah. I've always said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's up there with uh, saber and poker as well. Ooh. I'm unfortunately yeah. uh, say, saber. Yeah, EPOS and beatboxing. less money. <laughs> yeah. It is so, EPOS and beatboxing, isn't it? Yeah, EPOS beatboxing. Uh, didn't he win or got like very high in some sort of championship? Went to a world championship, something like that? Yeah. yeah. Let's uh, see if he's doing we... it in the VC, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Quick check. <laughs> is EPOS beatboxing? <laughs> I can't do WR, yeah. I'm just fucking bad. Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. EPOS live comms, will see WRs. No, <laughs> it's gonna be great. I'm just gonna no. stack every sector of the map. Look. <laughs> I give up. You're trying to crash? Do you even catch him? I don't want to. <laughs> 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 I can't concentrate, man. I'm trying to drive a cool round right now. Talk, watching acres? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god. No, I'm gaming. It's just I'm so boring to save and do point oh, man. Like, who? Yeah. That was good. No, it's not. When you do the line, it's terrible. It's kinda. It's not terrible. Joe, it's mama. like, good. Yeah, it's good. Like, if you're on a good round, you've got nine guaranteed. Yeah. Okay, oh. new line. What? Bosh! No Bosh! Wait, where's the one? Good round. GR. I was racing against my demons. Oh, flip! Wicked. Thank you. Sure. Oh, <laughs> my mental's gone. Yep. Meow. Gosh. Wait. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that was, I was just saying, I did love a cross crossing the line for a bosh. And then, <laughs> wait, where is everyone right now? <laughs> Crickets in the background. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, continued chaos. There's no other word for it in the Zoomers chat. And yet, 
it's working. Uh, the finest minds of a generation of British and Irish Trackmania players are holding on to <laughs> their lead at the moment, having won Hockalicious. They are 2-0 up in the first of the 2v2 sub-matches, with Boz already having dispatched Pack. Yeah, and they're looking relatively comfortable, and if they can secure the win on this one, that would be the win on this map as well, which would mean overall a victory. You know, two, two maps against... Well, up on a, a two-map... Uh, What's the opposite of deficit? <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> uh, po positive credit? Hang on. Pos yeah, the surplus. Surplus. Well, uh, yeah. Nah, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> two, they'd be 2 0 up. Benefit. Profit? There we go. Profit. Thank thanks, mm. Ender. We needed someone who doesn't speak, who isn't Think. English, to tell me what the English <laughs> is. Yeah. They'd be 2 0 up going into the last map. Um, so yep. they would have already, already won. The black? Yeah. Two, two rounds in the black? Yeah, two rounds in the black. We'll go with that, yeah. There we go, yeah. Start sounding like I'm fancy with my economical words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good at this language. Well, it is still <laughs> going to be 3-0 to zero in favour of the Zoomers. They could have closed it out by now, but they haven't, with a couple of draws thrown in for good measure. This could be a rerun of what we saw last time around on Hawkalicious, where, you know, we were talking up the Boomers at that point, and uh, the first 2v2, they just got swept. 5-0 to zero was the final score on that one. And then 5-1 to one in that second 2v2. And uh, I can feel yes. history repeating itself. Yeah, it just seems like they... Wow, Chris has made another mistake. He's two seconds down. It seems like they just don't have the consistency. I mean, even if they were just, you know, putting in 55-4s, 55-3s, you would expect to pick up a couple of rounds here and there where f to makes mistakes or Acros uh, makes a couple of mistakes. But it seems like... You know, they just can't capitalize on it at the moment. Chris, just, you know, three seconds behind there. Three, four seconds behind. Jono slightly off the pace. Uh, Epos with a 0.9 again. And I believe we're going to go over into the Boomers VC and see how they're dealing with this. Uh, starting off now. Around the poles. The blue team are once again ahead, though. Me and Zeph, neck and neck. Oh, I've actually held the gear this time. I'm on the chase of the blue as we go down the dirt section. The two cars ahead of me go right around the outside, but I'm not good enough to do that, so I have to stick on the dirt. <laughs> so we go around into the drift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I've clipped. It seems over. Unless the blue team absolutely knew it. Either way, we're still on board with me, so let's go. Gonna take the nice newbie line around here down the inside. I can hear Zeph right behind me though, so I've gotta keep pushing. Oh, I nearly get a new slide. Coming onto the final bit of sand. Zeph, I can't really hear his engine anymore. I think he might have dropped behind. And a nice little safe finish into the jump. And it's a GG. Oh, I can second. Oh, it's a draw round. Let's go. Wait. <laughs> How? Oh, he sucker. <laughs> <laughs> in some ways doc i'm disappointed that we didn't get the epos comms for that round because we saw <laughs> we, we heard a little bit of what happened last time epos was having a poor round and it is instant mud <laughs> yeah <laughs> and on the other hand uh i would love to know where everyone else on the boomer team has gone because that did it's, just seem like john is slowly going mad in a room <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's literally talking to Chris and that's out, like, saying about how he's behind him and stuff like that. Just no response at all. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, it's like, okay, I think I hear Chris's engine. Where's Chris? I can't hear his engine yeah. and there's just no Nothing. response. <laughs> Not a word to maybe let Jono know where Chris is from anyone uh, at that point. Uh, They're off having a good time somewhere else at the moment. Well, we'll see. That last round did end in a draw. That does mean that we're still in it. Four to zero for the Zoomers. We may not be in it much longer with the both of them wheel to wheel together as they head around the last couple of corners. What time can they set? We haven't had Boz's prediction of a 54-8 come true just yet. And we will not, um, we're unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good enough. 54, 55, 4 and 55, 5 will do it. As the yeah. Zoomers take another sub-match. So far, four out of five sub-matches in their favour. Very convincing. Very convincing. A 5 0 there. Yeah. Leo coming out of this looking wonderful for the boomers so far tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, yeah. So we're going to see Leo and Leo and Hotswap. Yeah. Uh, Can against. 
Wizzy Leo maintained the one hundred percent win rate. That would be nice to see. Yeah, if you pick be... up the uh, pick up the knockout victory in the last map as well. <laughs> We've been very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we haven't really described that format for the knockout just yet. So uh, while we have a little bit of time here, and before we get into our final sub match, let's uh, lay the groundwork. Because as we say, it is going to be kind of a cup of the day style track. And with that is a cup of the day-ish format, right? Yeah. So uh, it is, I don't know if you're aware, I think you did some casting for it, but the knockout tech tournament, it's uh, one of the Eclipse. Um, uh, I did not do casting did for it, but I have oh. watched some of those clips. It's uh, it's one of their um, we've stolen their plugin basically. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, similar to um, the I uh, IOC, um, hmm. it is basically going to be like a, a knockout style thing, um, and you are then assigned points based on um, what position you've been knocked out in. So then there'll be uh, like a running team total. Uh, at the top of the screen so it's nice and easy for people to keep track of uh, we don't have to fill out any spreadsheets or anything like that yeah um yeah but it's gonna be a good one so yeah the map is as you say track of the day style i have played it and i think it's harder than your typical track of the day um i mean i to be fair that makes we sense we have a lot <laughs> yeah. of very good players here it would be yeah. silly not to take advantage of the opportunity we have to throw something a little bit more difficult at them to quick learn and also yeah it's a little bit harder, you say, than a typical track of the day. They are also going to have significantly less time than you normally get to learn a track of the day before being yes. thrown into it. Yes. So uh, after a bit of testing on the map, um, we believe that four minutes is sufficient for them to, to pick it up, to at least That's get rough. clean rounds uh, at the start. And then towards the end of it, hopefully we'll start seeing them all pushing the lines and uh, getting faster and faster times. Um, well, that's that's the aim anyway um it'll be interesting to see whether we see um people starting off sort of at the top of the list and then gradually as the the slower learners but faster paced people sort of um overtake them um looking more towards people like chris uh who is known for his fast learn um but then in the later rounds i can't see him keeping up with people like boz and epos who play cup of the day day in day out um and acros uh Akro is also under understated on fast learning. He is very good. Uh, I mean, they all are. Um, they're all very, very good players. It's going to be a hard one to, to decide who wins it. Yeah, uh, but fun. Fun. Going to yeah. be very, and very enjoyable. Yeah, I feel like I've stated. I feel like I've overstated how hard it is. Like it is hard. Yeah. But having played it, <laughs> the but difficulty doable. feels very intuitive. Um, yeah. There's there's tricky sections, but once you've done it a couple of times, you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, Wait, it's it's very well made. It's what it, that's what you want as well out of a fast learn. Any track that people have to first la fast learn should be finishable, right? Like I mean, the the enjoyment yeah. of the competition should come from well, who can learn to push the hardest, who can actually yeah. figure out the perfect line rather than a line that is just good enough to get you around this corner, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, there might be a few rounds of survival, sort of driving to survive, uh, mm. and then. I think I Formula think One is that copyrighted. I don't think you can that... say that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Like, Listen, let me just I'm just a guy on the internet. Floor. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> they will be uh, m motoring to to li live, live, live longer. Sure, motoring sure. to live. <laughs> Coming to an unspecified streaming network near you soon. <laughs> uh, uh, I can also reveal. There is a little bit of snow car, just a tiny little Ooh! bit of snow car. Um, oh dear! Yeah, oh, which that's will be worrying. Interesting, interesting to see. Where, I still where haven't the, actually the managed to just break. sit down and play any of the snow car maps. Uh, I have not had the time in my life in this lead up to Christmas that we have at the moment. <laughs> so you're going to have to lead us through exactly how the players are handling that and what the physics are doing because I will not know. <laughs> I, I, you're speaking to someone who also has not got their head around it. It seems like... <laughs> I will you, figure it out. The just like 90 degree well, turn, you're thrown off the map and it's like, my reactions are not quick enough for this. 
Yeah, we did drop out of audio there for a second, but that's just because our producer decided to leave the Discord call and come back. So you know what? That's not our fault, and we're ready to go. Live rounds live. are <laughs> beginning as Wizzy and Hendo take on Hotswat and Leo. Leo looking to be the only boomer with a 100% win rate because he managed to win a sub-match, and nobody else on the boomer <laughs> side has, has yet. Nobody else has done it. And... Uh... While we're still early in the round, I'd like to say a big thanks to Babs, Padster, Red, Red Barry. Ugh, that evil, <laughs> evil oh, Barry. It's, it's a, it, we're, th we're talking kind of a Mario Wario situation here, yeah, Luigi yeah. Waluigi. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, evil Barry. No, that's not what you want. Yeah, it's, uh, it's someone who has no mustache and just a full chin strap beard instead. <laughs> Does Barry have a mustache? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> the stash crow. As we see, Leo keeps his and as, victory. Well, and we Leo's can... doing well, but we're going to head into the Zoomers because that's what's important here. Um, <laughs> what the fuck are you? I died already. Are we jamming? Uh, they're winning, by the way. I know. Yeah. My God, it's like my breathing. This skull. <laughs> 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 Keep vibrating my skull. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> How are we meant to follow that? <laughs> I. I I think it's actually broken my computer. I, I, my That's Twitch so is frozen. After. I so just, I love the, the <laughs> yeah, and I love the just noise into moment of silence. They're winning, by the way, straight back into beatboxing. That's a combo. <laughs> Truly incredible. <laughs> That was, yeah, we've been informed that that was, yeah, no, that's just for the grass to make sure that they don't lose gears The Epos was beatboxing. A common concern in voice chat. Oh my lord. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think it's working for them. Leo and Hotspot are doing, doing really well here. They're looking pretty solid. Both, yeah. Oh no, Leo and Wizzy are going for the uh, the risky line. Don't think they've maxed it out quite as much as Boz has, and I think it's going to be a real fight to the end of the track for these two. Yeah, Leo with the upper hand close. coming into the ending, but I think he was struggling with it earlier. Wizzy goes inside. Oh, but he oh. puts the finish. Oh. Wizzy sent that though, tried to get the snipe on Leo by just cutting it a little bit further to the left. Couldn't get it done and that means another round win for the Boomers, who are now 3-0 up. The secret was Leo all along. <laughs> well, yeah, I did say at the start of this, Leo is probably one of the more experienced uh, mix players within the Boomers team and he is showing it here. Setting 55 threes? Generally, 5.3s, yep. 5.4s, five five which are good times, not as fast as what we've seen in uh, the other sub matches. Oh, they both just hit the wall, haven't they? <laughs> they have both just <sighs> hit the wall. It does mean, like, look, if the Boomers manage to close this out, there's an interesting question to be had. Did chat peer pressure the Boomers into losing this match overall? Because if they'd not <laughs> thrown Pack into the 1v1 and he swapped out for one of the players in the last sub match 2v2. Yeah. Maybe they win that sub match, and then if they win this one, they would have won here 2 1. Yeah, sacrifice the 1v1 and then have Leo and Pac split across. Oh, Wizzy's made a mistake on the ending. So is Leo, though. He hangs so on. It's, it's two respawns. Seconds. And it is going to be Wizzy who manages to oh, still get. Lord. Wizzy tried to crash that finish oh. line again. 
I don't want to accuse anyone of intentional throwing, but we got close there. It is going to be a round win still for the Zoomers, and uh, it is going to be... 3 to 1 in favor of the Boomers. So we still have at least a couple of rounds to go here as the Boomers look to close out the best chance they've had in a while of getting a sub match. Yeah, so in the meantime, I've had another <laughs> donation. We've had one another... in from producer Thomas. Hey, there we go. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, and he sent a message as well. That. <laughs> That day and night cost segment cost me 20 quid. Well, fair enough. <laughs> is, that, is that what uh, Epos's hourly rate equates to? Like two hours on there? Uh, sorry, I think two it's, minutes on there. It's just the right, it's how much we're going to have to pay for the use of that song. Oh, because <laughs> obviously it was yeah. just good enough that uh, it it's accurate, going to be taken. Yeah. And here we are with the Boomers looking to win another round. I thought Hendo would crash, but it was just netcode issues there for a second. It's still looking good, though. Wizzy a long way behind, and Hendo will drop behind both Leo and Hotswat as they bang in another low 55. How are they feeling over in the Boomers now things are finally going right? Mba. <laughs> I, uh, I pussy that out of the Sky <laughs> Oh, uh, Hendo clipped. Yes, boys, Leo. Let's go. Nope. Zoomers nice. on mixed nice tech, Leo. Lul. Bloody hell. Nice. One, two on points. Let's go. My heart rate's over the limit for someone my age, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Incredibly different vibes between these yeah. two chats. <laughs> I think one of, the, one of them might be taking it a little bit more seriously than the other. They realized they were getting collapsed. <laughs> yeah. but... It is also a very bold move to lose the map overall two to one in the sub matches and then win one sub match and say Zoomer is on mixed comp <laughs> low. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a, ve a very good performance from Leo as well. Like uh, 55 1 in the last round there, which was yeah. sort of equal to, well, I mean. Five ten, or sort of five, sorry, five thousand behind Pax best time across the matches. So uh, yes, yeah, very Sign very strong so from Leo. Him <laughs> get him in there, <laughs> and uh, that does mean that we are starting to get ready for our next section of the evening as well. I assume at some point we're going to force a couple of players to come in here and chat to us, unwilling as they may be. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, let's have another quick talk about what is going on. As has already been said, we're heading into a cup of the day style track with a cup of the day-ish style knockout. It is going to be a knockout team tournament stolen format, essentially. Thank you very much to them for lending us uh, <laughs> their, their server and structure for that. Which does mean that players are competing for their teams, but one player will be eliminated from every round regardless of team affiliation. And, uh, yes. well, we'll talk about that a little bit more in a second, because in the meantime, we do have to question Hot Swat about what's going on over there. Hello, good friends. How's it going? Hello. <laughs> well played, I well mean, played. I'll say it's probably going better over here than it seems to be going for Team Boomer at the moment. Uh, what are you saying? We just won. That's a fair point. Uh, right? Arguable, but fair. <laughs> I mean, we won a sub-match, right? That's true. And uh, Leo yeah. is maintaining uh, day, a 100% win rate. Uh, well, yeah, true. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a 50% win rate, which, you know, not terrible. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not so bad. Fair enough. Fair enough. Were exactly. you feeling com comfortable on that map? I saw you were, you were taking the safe route on the, uh, on the dirt. Uh, safe route? What are you talking about? That was an un unknown route up until today. 
uh, save for the Zoomers team. They were practicing it oh. offline, would you believe? And oh. none of us knew about it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just boomers being wow. completely uh, ignorant, I guess. As usual. <laughs> so you say that, but I feel like I did see Chris in Twitch chat saying, I drove that line the first time that uh, I tried the map. So Yeah, the, which is today. He tried oh. the map for the first time today. Well, it was a war, <laughs> That's fair. Fair enough. Uh, then it's not so much a case of a teammate holding out on you as uh, just one of the, the other team being a little bit more tryhard. Um, yeah, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> I think you could probably say that about Bosbez, yes. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I will say also, though, we have jumped into their comms, and mostly it just seems to be Epos beatboxing at the moment, which, you know. Really? Okay. Well, our comms are pretty serious, I'll have you know. Yeah, the, the switch in tone is... is... <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to watch it back and see for yourself, but the switch in tone is very, very entertaining, especially when it switched from the chaos into... What happened when we cut to Jono? Because we cut to Jono, who just seemed to be alone at that point. Nobody was responding to anything he said. Oh, no, he, he was commentating. He, he does that when he, uh, when he plays, he commentates on his own racing. It's kind of weird. Has is that something he that? does? Uh, is that like actually a thing he does? All the time. Hilarious. Wow. But I mean, fair enough. That's really cool. It was also very funny. Where he's like, huh, I think Chris <laughs> is behind me. I'm trying to figure it out from the sound of the engine. And Chris is just there silently. And you know he's in that call. <laughs> he's just not saying anything. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe, maybe he doesn't do it all the time. But I think uh, that's a that's a pretty pretty good image if he does. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, should yeah. definitely consider doing it all the time if he doesn't already. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Incorporate that into his image. It did give very strong like golf commentary vibes. Yeah, I was a yeah. big fan. Oh gee. <laughs> yeah, it was very nice. much vo voices down please they're trying to concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, approach the green it was very much like as we approach the final corner. <laughs> All right, <laughs> noted. Noted. We'll be more hype next time. No, it's fine. <laughs> uh, unless you have any noted beatboxers among you who uh, want to give us a performance next time Thomas jumps in there. Maybe maybe some karaoke. You know, oh. we, can, we can take that out. Right. What, I mean, you, uh... we know that you've been practicing. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. What, what was it that you uh, whacked out at the Christmas party? Oh, um, a bit of Aladdin, A Whole New World with uh, with Veg is Cool. Um, Which okay. I will treat. say, as an unbiased witness, was a genuinely <laughs> incredible performance from the two of them. <laughs> was it a, t a real tearjerker? It was Veg is Cool's uh, Princess Jasmine. You need to see it to believe it. It's... Something to behold. Yeah, well, wait, wait till you hear "Baby, it's cold outside" with me and Pack. It's gonna be <laughs> something else. Uh, well, looking forward to it. I suppose we do have to ask, how are you feeling about the uh, the quick learn that's coming up? Oh, terrified. Yeah. Well, uh, terrified. We're, we're, it's it's gonna be the end of me anyway. Um, I'm a Div Two Andy, and I'm playing with Div One Andys. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it's not gonna go well for me anyway. Well, Enjoy it. I mean, unlike Couple of Day, you have four teammates who can do better than you in order to carry you across the line. So, uh, I'm banking on it. Hope anyway, I'm yeah. banking <laughs> on it. Yeah. All right. Good luck. And uh, we'll maybe catch up with you again. And if we don't, uh, I hope you're having a good time. Absolutely, <laughs> I am. And I hope you guys are too. <laughs> All we right. are. See you guys. And, uh, well, having said goodbye, Totswat, we are going to send us back into the Zoomer comms and see how they're prepping, because I'd imagine it's very highbrow, very intellectual. Oh, I got the jump. Thomas, why have you dragged me in here? I don't want I don't want any part of this. This is I hear a cactus. Hey, hey, everyone. Hello. Uh, how's the vibe in here? And top, I got a team news in. I have returned. Oh no, here. I know. Hey guys. Sorry about that. Oh my God. <laughs> I've been dragged in here, I think, to try and say something intelligent or get intelligent answers out of you, but I feel like we all know that's a lost cause on both sides.
Uh. Wait, they actually knobbed off the KCP <laughs> plugin. This is official, professional. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why this is a Mania control server. You thieves. Wow. Yeah, we we borrowed it. We appropriated it. Thief. Hey, Crows, you have point uh, five uh, brackets to to cross. <laughs> You've lost. You know, oh, no. Terrible GG. player. Terrible player. Oh, no, please. Kids from team. No. Was he safety car? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I have to ask one question so that we can say we've done an interview done and then leave. <laughs> uh, who is going to win these knockouts? Hendo Wizzy. 22. Wizzy? Hendo 22? I'm not winning shit. Are we, are we having a definitive answer or are we just going to have... Are you going to say everyone... Wait, is it actually... full stop. Definitely. I don't... Yeah, I'm not, don't really believe in Jono. I'm sorry, Jono. <sighs> Uh, so he... there's uh, most of the answers I heard there were I think from your team. So yeah, we're just saying that it's going to be one of you guys. Yeah, Seems like yes to me. All right, Thomas, get us That's out of here. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> oh, we made it out alive. <laughs> I feel like we didn't uh, even get a definitive answer, so I think he's going to win that. But I think they said somewhat, them, possibly. Hendo, Epos, Wizzy, I think, were the three I heard. I'm pretty sure Epos said himself, so... <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, I could be getting my timelines wrong here. Oh. But I think people are possibly going to be writing off some of the boomers without remembering that there was stuff like the True Talent Cup True. on some of the older games. Uh -huh. uh, that they've possibly paid. Um, so I think. Can I, think I add oh. one data point to what you're cooking right now, though? Which yes. is that Pack has just put in chat that <laughs> put a quote from Jono from the voice call, which is, What snow car? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Yeah. I take it all back. <laughs> I take everything back. <laughs> As we oh, get ready, we are going to be heading on into. Our quick learn. Four minutes for players to discover whatever has been laid on for them to figure out what exactly is a snow car. And in the meantime, uh, what's going on with those donations, Doc? How are things going for our charity partners of Samaritans and Mind for this? Oh, we are, we are, we are cooking a lot of money here. We've had, uh, oh, I can't remember if I've already read these out. No, I don't think I have. Okay. No, maybe I did. Anyway, we've had one from Pat <laughs> we've had one from Padster saying thanks, Leo, for cooking this up. Thank Paddy. Thank you, Paddy. Ignoring the fact that I did some of it as well. <laughs> um, but yes, it was mostly Leo. Uh, so thank you very much, Leo. Uh, had somebody from Babs as well saying, can I have hot swaps? Oh, hot swaps autograph, please. Ooh, woo. Uh, um, you'll have to ask him. I don't have <laughs> access to hot swaps. I'll, I'll uh, sell you a hot swap autograph for. I can figure out a price. Have you, you've got some. <laughs> no. Just lying around. <laughs> I can forge a hot swat signature for a price. And I will put <laughs> that money straight towards charity. Yeah, right. But uh, hey, You're we're live on the money. track. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yes, we are live. <laughs> no, it's so, all going straight, <laughs> straight yeah. to charity. Yes. Straight to so, charity. So, yeah, we are live. Kind of looking, and I'll say it, a little bit like a mixed comp map. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there's a couple of... A little, little bit more water. A couple of outside dirt, a little bit of water. Um, I have forgotten what the name of the map is. Uh, it is... Uh, Cordial. Cordial. By, oh, uh, snow car! Oh. Jump scare! And snow oh. car. Yeah, jump scare into snow car. And it's on uh, the wood surface as well. So, Doc, yeah. break it down for us. What does break that snow car do on the wood surface? Oh, I would love to tell you. Uh, so, basically, you get extreme grip and very fast turning uh, and it's very disorientating to go between the two uh, if you're an old person like me with slow reactions. I think the zoomers will do well there, although uh, it depends how boomery the boomers are they may well have played TMUF uh, and played it on there. <laughs> uh, we see Acros here struggling with some of the dirt section there. That was a bit uh, where I made them put flag there because there's a nasty dirt clip. <laughs> um, but yeah, so th this map is... An interesting one. It's uh, sort of a mix of everything, and I believe it's around about a minute twenty-ish for a good site, uh, good time. Um, but yeah, it's it's very well made. I think we're going to see a lot of people who 
uh, are looking at them doing the warm up right now and wondering what the hell is going on. Why? Why are these? Why are these div fifteen players uh, playing this? Um, mm. But no, uh, they're just going to sort of hit every single wall and then like a room, but they'll figure out the room. Um, <laughs> That'll be, it'll be fun. Have you ever? Sorry, full side tangent right now because you mentioned hitting the wall and figuring out the route. Have you ever seen those maze solving robots that they have the world championships uh, for? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and if anyone doesn't know what we're talking about right now, you should look it up because it's super cool. There's plenty of videos on YouTube, but it's essentially trying to make a very small robot that can get through a maze by figuring it out and then solving it as quickly as possible. They're they have the ones. They have the ones where. Uh... They're like path following robots as well, so they have like the the lines that are drawn on the floor. Yeah, and then they're like, ah, oh, yeah, they're great. Yeah, yeah I feel like the, some of the maze ones. Uh, now this is going back really far. Uh, mm. There was a spin off from Robot Wars in like 2004. There was like the Robot Games or something like that, and I feel like that had all of these like purpose built robots that they would show off that would do yeah. weird things like that. Um, I can't remember what some of them were. They had like a diving one? I can't really remember. Anyway, yeah, I feel like <laughs> yeah. we're a minute I mean, off. From... We're, we're a minute <laughs> off, so now is the time to remind everyone that this is an event organized by British Irish Track Mania in support of two wonderful mental health charities across the British Isles, Mind and Samaritans. Uh, thank you very much for all of your donations so far. And I will just remind everyone as well that uh, subscriptions to the channel on this event will not be going towards the charities so if you do want to support the charities please do go to the donate links that can be found in twitch chat any subscriptions will go to the usual purpose on this channel which is still i would say a pretty good cause which is helping british and irish track mania run more events in the future whether they be like this whether they be something more akin to the bipl and the like but they're all fun so you know what yeah. i still say it's a good cause yeah, I mean, it all goes towards, you know, server hosting and um, prize pools and all that type of thing. So, you know, it, it helps grow our scene. It is but, giving yeah, back to the community. Giving back to the community, yeah. Yep. Warm-up is ending now, and if we look along the local records, it looks E-Boss like... Is... Woo, E-Boss is struggling here, but Leo and Wizzy, both with good times already. I think that's around about... Well, I mean, obviously they're <laughs> going to push it, but I'd said at the start, a 120 is around about a good uh, rounds time, I believe. I, I do uh, want to get into some strategy real quick while it still matters, which is that because this is a team format, like if you have two players at the bottom and they're both not going to finish, you can make a tactical decision about which one you actually send through to the next round, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is so, it's pretty fun. It's interesting. Yeah. We'll see if it does come <laughs> up. We'll see if the teams... I, maybe I've considered that and nobody else has, but maybe it's a possibility. As it stands... <laughs> The player from Wild, Wizzy, is a long ways down at the moment. Uh, about a second, but that has dropped to about seven tenths. Everyone changes car. It is oh, very no. scary when that happens. And well, yeah, there he is, we Jono go. and Hot Swan, <laughs> we go, weaving <laughs> together at the back as they wobble off track. And uh, yeah, yeah new Leo car is not going great for them, but Leo full crashed. I mean, either way, not great for the boomers. No. A one, two, three, four at the back. Oof. It's only pack. <laughs> Contesting at the top. That is <laughs> devastating. The snow car has uh, yeah, been a little it's bit unfortunate. A little bit unkind. Eposto has uh, ended up in the mud. Pack will get all the way up towards the front. Fighting balls for first place in a replay of their sub-match in the last track. As Leo looks to see if there's anyone to be caught. Going to turn in to that risky fin. Jono will be the player eliminated <laughs> by his teammate as he catches on the edge of that risky fin. No. <laughs> well, Honestly. pretty entertaining. As uh, Once again, we'll remind everyone that the scoring in this goes that you will get... Points for the position you finish in. So Jono, for his efforts, just received 10 points. That is bad. You do not want 10 points. You want the fewest points possible, and we will be counting them down as we tick players off. So 10 points already in the zoo in the boomers column. And the zoomers feeling pretty good about how round one has gone. And if they can get another boomer elimination here, then all of a sudden they are looking very, very good. Yeah, and it looks like Leo is really struggling at the start here. Finds himself almost four and a bit seconds down. And we see that, as sort of expected, the uh, the cup of the day did one crew have really, you know, they fast learned their fast learn, and Boz is yeah. steaming ahead here with Hendo and Wizzy not too far behind. It's only Pack and Chris who uh, can, you know, they're riding along on their coattails for now. 
Oh, Epos! That is a one, two, three. Oh, has Epos made a mistake at the back there? He came close. It's not a big enough one. He just about kept it out of the wall. He's lost a couple of seconds. But Leo being nearly five behind the lead means that Epos should still be safe. Barring any major accidents from anyone on the Risky Finn, it does look like Leo will be the player going home. It does look like the Boomers are going to lose two players in the first two rounds and move up to 19 points already. A punishing oh, potential Leo's start. No slid as well. Yeah, Leo's definitely, well, barring any real shenanigans, Leo is definitely out here. Finds himself five seconds behind the next, next player. And Pat yep. coming in third, so I think it could come down to uh, just pack pack against all of the zoomers uh, I'll say it we're already at that point where I think we can start to call the 3-0 zoomer sweep on the night Ooh, I don't want to I don't want to uh, boomers you know. are gonna have to do a lot <laughs> of work to catch back up now yeah yeah, yeah. I mean uh, they've really given themselves a disadvantage here yeah um, Oh, although, who was that at the start? Hot oh, swap. No. 19 0 was a pretty rough start for them. Uh, yeah. 27 0 would be worse. That would be. That would You're be starting to hit a point where you are <laughs> running out of the number of points that uh, there are left available for the Zoomers <laughs> to get. Yeah, I mean, they could win this without. Someone do the maths Everyone real quick. Eliminated. What is like 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7? Oh my lord! Twenty. Wait, hang on. I think 20? if the bo I think it's around twenty. And if the so if the boomers lose another car here, it is just over. <laughs> it is no longer possible for the zoomers, even if all five of them get eliminated in a row after that, to get as yeah. many points as the first three boomers. <laughs> it'll be uh, it would it would come down to pride at that point. It'll be can pack or Chris solidify themselves as the best fast learner in the yeah. BITM community. Because Chris has always said he's best on fast learn, but then yeah. Chris would have been campaigning for less than four minutes to uh, discover this in. Um, yeah. <laughs> where he would, I think he would have had more of an advantage. But yeah, I mean, he finds himself at the back of the, uh, well, nearly at the back of the um, the running. He finds Hot Swat <laughs> is actually going to be the one who goes out here. Yep. Yeah. And as the Irish make their exit, so too do the boomers, as that will lock it in. That will confirm that here tonight in the first ever British and Irish track mania, boomers versus zoomers charity event. <laughs> I'm saying the full title as long as it needs to be because I don't want to call it. I can't believe I'm saying it. It is 3-0 to the boomers. Zoomers. Yes. Oh, is, well, if I just say to the boomers, <laughs> if I just say to the boomers, then that's fine. 3-0 to the zoomers. It's what I, it, yeah. I half expected to be saying 3-0 to the Boomers when I walked in tonight. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think a lot of people were... Uh, oh, Wizzy's... Has Wizzy just respawned there? Yes, he has. So we are going to see mm. the first Zoomer elimination, most likely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people were thinking it was either going to be a lot closer than it is, or they were thinking the pack was going to do some hard carrying and we were going to see uh, a Boomer win. Um, but yeah, it has been a commanding victory for uh, for the Zoomers. Uh, yeah, it's been impressive. Yeah, even on uh, Hoko, which they've been complaining about for the last three weeks since it was announced, um, they were they were yeah solid, very solid. The Epos clips the wall there, uh, but I think Chris Are and Pacus. Still going to be Doc, safe and bring alternate win Boomers. conditions here. Chat has proposed that if Chris manages to win now. On the, fa on, on the fast learn. It is an overall win for the Boomers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moral, <laughs> moral victory, yeah. This moral is victory. The most, this is the most challenging... But uh, only if Chris challenge. wins. We're just saying Pack is, Pack is actually too likely to just win. <laughs> Pack's, Pack's just respawned. Okay, well, Pack, if Pack wins, it'll be very impressive, but I... Oh! Oh! He's okay. <laughs> yeah, Wizzy is going for the safe in anyway. That could have been disastrous if Pack had to go for another respawn. But nope. Wizzy will be eliminated. First zoomer down. Nice. There we go. First blood drawn. Finally. <laughs> Babs, Chris's double points, I think, is not the flex you're looking for in a format where uh, <laughs> having higher points is a bad thing. <laughs> They've handicapped. The, uh, the Chris is too good. <laughs> He's worth double <laughs> points. 
<laughs> oh, oh well, uh, alternate wind condition in the mud as Chris is now looking for a mistake from someone in front. Well, that'll make well, it harder. And I mean, uh, the four W's. The yeah, four you, W's. You just see the, the wall him. of Wombo ahead. <laughs> Although he does take but, acros, so he's going to find himself safer. Well, I mean, he finds himself very safe because Chris has made a subsequent mistake and he's 10 seconds behind. That'll be disappointing for him. Mm. This is true. And uh, there is the request, of course, that, that it, all, all the Zoomers versus Pack. It'd be impressive if, if Wizzy had managed to sneak his way back in after being eliminated the last round. And I'll <laughs> thank production to keep their silly questions to themselves. As, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> Yeah, it is uh, going to be four whoa, zoomers whoa. and pack is certainly is pack what the... it looks like. Is Pack it's... jumping through the triangle there? I did not see. And uh maybe, because he's got a half a second lead, which is pretty impressive and to me would imply because there's a couple of cars that were close by and the pack has done something a little bit differently. I think coming out of the Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna well, he, said a, he said a new that's, that's a new best time. <laughs> That's 120.5, new yeah. best time for the server. Impressively, Hendo's behind would have improved the best time on the server after the previous round as well, if Pack hadn't gone for it. And the fact that Chris is going for that triangle implies that it is known within the uh, the boomer call, right? That someone <laughs> is at least aware of it and potentially going for it. I can imagine the boomer call is very tense now. Everyone just, you know, mm. all, fully behind Pack. A lot of pressure yeah. on him here to get the, yeah, no. the moral victory. <laughs> <laughs> a quick score update. It is currently 33 to 7 in favor of the Zoomers. Low score is better. That score will creep up because there is now four Zoomers left to eliminate <laughs> and only one Boomer. So the Boomers, they've nearly maxed out. Yeah. Oh, who's that rubber banding? I'm getting confused. Ah, <laughs> 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 Well, she internet you. has done us again. Yeah. Wolves was upset about not having a featured team and is now punishing. <laughs> the Acros and Boz... Oh, sorry. Epos and Boz were very strong starts. Pack struggles through that water section. And he's going to find himself in last here through the woods. This has very bad speed coming into it. Clips the lights on the inside. Thanks for putting those there, Bo's there Jordy. Uh, and he just finds himself 0.5 behind. Now, does he go triangle? And are any zoomers going triangle? No zoomers He's going, going triangle. triangle. Pat goes triangle, and he closes in on Acros here. Can he Good save himself? Speed. Great speed as well. As a result, very close to Acros, but it will now even out as Acros got a better exit from the previous turn. Pack still in fifth place, looking for a mistake from a zoomer up in front, and they do be zooming right now. Pack going wider on the dirt. He seems to have lost ground and not gained enough speed to make up for it. Whoa. Pack will be eliminated. And with that, wow. everyone point and laugh at Wizzy as the only player who did not manage to outlast all of the boomers. <laughs> well, it's official. Then the Zoomers are better on on Aslan. Everything, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think what we have actually proved here tonight, Doc, if you'll allow me to uh, hypothesize a little, is that it turns out that people who actively put a lot of time currently into the game <laughs> are better than people who don't. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could use those words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we may have set out to test boomers versus zoomers as our kind of, you know, our hypothesis of which group was better, but I think what we have actually proved, and Pac has done his fair share of doing some proving there as well, is that the best players are the ones who are putting in the hours. Yes. Yep, and I mean, and especially a format like uh, a couple of day, it seems to be really favouring, you know, Boss, mm. Hendo, uh, Epos, uh, you know, the people you see in Div 1 every single day. Who would have thought? Yeah, <laughs> crazy. See Hendo clips the same light. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's uh, a little bit unfortunate. It has looked to cost maybe two players, but Hendo's still close. Does he go triangle? Nobody goes triangle. Well, it seems all of the Zoomers are fully yek about triangle line. Yeah. And, uh, well, I mean, hey, they're still here, so they can afford to be, because if all of them are yak, then none of them are yak, is, uh, yeah. I think, the easiest <laughs> way to put it. <laughs> be As, uh, to see uh, how mm -hmm. serious they're taking this. I would love to. Thomas, fighting? can we jump into comms? How, close, how serious are the comms? Because my guess is probably not very. Yeah, that's what we just asked you to do. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> We're heading to Zoomers. <laughs> Any second. Any second. No watching, no watching. Watching, watching. No, no, no. Wait, yeah. Ping. Ping. Pong. Ping. Numbers good. <laughs> it's like you're all really equal. Cool. Hey, Chris, we're going. Ah! Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 Full scrappy mode. Mm -hmm. Acros point four oh, leads. Shit, oh, shit, Look at that. Point two lead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe... Uh, point one lead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's a good line, boss. Dang. Boss. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why am I first now? Hey, someone want to save me? Nope. Peng? Ah! Peng. That's what I did! <laughs> you can't see it! It's just a big bump! That's how Pack died, I think, apparently. Oh, Dude, shit. What is that snow car accident? It's so goofy, uh... It, it's on, it's on! Oh! oh it's good. That's the triangle. Yeah. And then you don't, you don't lose the gear and GG. Oh, I was holding the gear. But it felt bad. Icarus, max risk. Uh, full fear, full, full send, full send. Bang. Oh, okay. Ooh, what over. the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god, boss bears! GL, 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 GL. Back just back with spawn. I've never lost the boss ever in my life. No. GL final? Good luck, Kevin. Wait, holy shit, I, it's Epos. <laughs> Well, good luck's all round. It is Boz versus Epos. Doc, I've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I've got a real deja vu going on here. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> As Epos will clip very, very early on, <laughs> and snow car exit is the only thing that can save us now. Please, Boz. Please. It's our only hope for a close finish. <laughs> he was struggling in the second half of the map on the uh, last round, so... Yeah, he nearly got sniped. Yeah, absolutely. Look, it is a 6 tenths gap. Obviously, it is looking a little bit over, but Paul's had some moments, including in the water. So, hanging on and seeing if Epos can close this gap at all as we bring to an end what has been a wonderful event here for the British and Irish Trackmania community. Boomers versus Zoomers in aid of Mind and Samaritans. It looks like, as always, with every British Irish event ever, kind of, Boz will be <laughs> the last man standing. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, he's the last one out the door. Always. But yeah, it's been a great event. It's been a fantastic event. So uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we'll give a, a total afterwards. But yeah, the uh, donor pages will be staying open for a while afterwards. So uh, feel free to carry on donating after the, after the stream's over. Uh, and there are incentives as well. So oh, uh, as we see, Boz wins. Boz wins. <laughs> I mean, look, there, we yeah. all <laughs> knew we were going to have to say that at some point tonight, and it is Boz who comes out on top in the quick learn, and it is the Zoomers who come out on top not only in the quick learn, but also in the mixed comp, and also, and also. in, <laughs> as it is now known, Hockey Walkie, Hockey renamed Walkie. in honour of their victory here tonight. Uh, I want you all spamming that the next time a new world record video comes out for the original <laughs> Hockalicious. Make sure that you let them know who sent you as well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we love Hockey Walkie. Yeah, if we can change that on TMX as well, that would be great. It would be ideal. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. So, Pack does yeah. keep the record. We did not mention that as an alternate win condition, but Pack with the uh, lobby record <laughs> for the track there, maybe that is the victory that the Boomers were looking for. Yeah, definitely, yeah. They can still say that they're the fastest players. So, Huge. there you go. Massive. They, they and won. I believe that uh, Bozbez actually maintains a 100% win record tonight as well, right? Uh, Most, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was against... Wow, what was his Hocko? Uh, well, sorry, he, his hockey. He Wookie. wasn't against Leo. He did not lose the 1v1 against Leo and then beat Pack in the mixed comp on Heartfelt. Yeah. Uh, and since they won the two 2v2s on Hockalicious, I don't remember which one it was, but he must have won it. We Is have it... an interview. Who oh, are we, we getting in here? Leo. It's Leo. Hey. Hello! Congratulations on a very successful event. <laughs> I noticed he didn't talk about the driving there. <laughs> <laughs> I, listen, Leo, <laughs> I think you are the you are the only boomer player with a positive win record tonight. 
Yeah, the thing is, a lot of us have been busy on the boomer side and haven't had to, like, enough time to sure. train. What I've done is basically just like thrown caution to the wind and against my better judgment, just procrastinated everything to train. So that's <laughs> that's why you saw what you saw. <laughs> that's fair. We fair were enough. joking that, you know, we're hitting Zoomer bedtime, but also the boomers have work in the morning. So it's a very, you know, it's, it's unfair for both sides, right? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, everyone kind of probably has their own stuff actually literally <laughs> pack and uh jono have both already gone to bed i think so that tells you all you need to know <laughs> <laughs> i won't be far behind <laughs> yeah no. but yeah i mean i've i had a load of fun playing that that was a incredible event from players point of view and i kind of check the stream like once or twice uh, between matches and i see we've raised like a ton of money which is absolutely mm. incredible yeah, I think uh, with with Leo here is probably a good time to have a look and see what our final donation total is for the end of the stream. I do. No, Doc I does that though. Ability. That's I listen, Thomas. <laughs> you don't gotta get in my ear about all the things you can't do. I'm well used. I'm used to being let down by. <laughs> We'd you. be here all night. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I can reveal that currently, unless someone throws in one now, our donation total sits at. One thousand and forty-seven pounds and sixty-nine pence. Very nice, whoever got those pence in. Um, so yeah, that is incredible, absolutely amazing. <laughs> wow, that's like more than I, I don't know could have imagined. To be honest, that's incredible. Like, great job, everyone. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we. Uh, I, yeah, I originally when I made the pages, I set the <laughs> set the campaign totals on both of them for two hundred quid, and I was like. Maybe, maybe that's a bit high. <laughs> so, yeah, that's incredible. Uh, so, yeah, big thanks to everyone for uh, donating. Um, if you are someone who has uh, requested a skin off of Wizzy, um, I will add you onto the, the spreadsheet for that, and he'll get around to doing that when he's not as busy. <laughs> um, and if you have donated £5, uh, then uh, if you haven't already got your in-game name in the donation, uh, then just drop me a DM and uh, you can request access to the Boomers vs. Zoomers club in-game uh, and I will accept your request in there so you can get access to like versions of the skins. Um, yeah, so a big thanks again to, to everyone for throwing your money at us. I mean, well, not us, throwing it at charities. Well, yeah, at the, at the, <laughs> that's uh i mean yeah like look it's an incre incredible response from the british irish track mania community as well i think uh a lot of us have often said that it's an incredible community to be a part of it's very welcoming uh if anyone is still here who's watching who is not a part of the discord who has not participated in anything before you know we'd love to have you but it's one thing to say all those things it's another thing to see a response like this when we ask for support for some charities that do great work and to see the turnout be so incredible we've had wonderful viewership all night as well chat's been having a great time and again just the the response in terms of support for these charities is legitimately so so impressive as a community to be able to pull this off yeah, Leo. Okay, i have a question i have a question for yeah. you two actually as a spectator or as spectators please yes. tell me it was closer than it looked on that last map uh, uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> look mm. we've just gone on a speech about how lovely the community is how wholesome it is here how welcoming <laughs> and i don't want to lie to your face directly after that leo <laughs> okay well we, we expected you had, you had the best time going into into the actual rounds by a good two yeah. seconds we thought you were gonna absolutely nail it no. then, so what yeah what happened yeah. was right what happened was okay i had hud off in between the rounds and then pasta said something with like my name in it and i was like uh, i have now right. forgotten how to play track mania and, <laughs> <laughs> and i usually oh. don't put hud on that was that was my bad so uh i mean i'll blame myself for that one i'll tell you yeah it was uh yeah i think the, the scores on the plugin broke whoops oh well yeah. well yeah. uh I do think that we are coming towards the end of a stream, so I'm going to ask Leo and Doc between you and anyone else who uh, might know anything as well. I'm sure there's admins around chat. Is there anything else that we should talk about for the British Irish track community coming up in the future? Mm. Am I an admin now? Is that the big reveal? Or whatever. <laughs> Listen, you organize enough things that I'm calling. <laughs> right now, you're on camera and you can just tell anyone they're not. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So actually, there is. Uh, we have some Christmas events coming up in the server. Uh... So tomorrow is Babs's Christmas quiz. 
Uh, and then on Wednesday is Lawn, Lawn Mows Christmas Maze Challenge. Um, so get signed up for that ASAP. Um, that seems like a, that's a great one. So it's basically... Oh, Where did my camera go? Broken. You, what? Thomas? Th th that's Thomas. Thomas's fault. He's gone full Irish. He's just turned green. That is 100% uh, <laughs> Thomas's fault. My camera is still fine. <laughs> wait a minute. Is this, yeah, it's still fine. On, oh, my God. Thomas, sort it out. Anyway, oh, yeah, so... Uh, Lormo's Christmas Maze thing. Um, you can find it in our server, all the details for that, but it, it looks very fun. Uh, and then on Friday, we've got the BISC Christmas edition. So it's people have made maps, and then we do uh, like a fast learn uh, casual tournament on that. And uh, Nua has disappeared on camera again. Um, <laughs> and then on Saturday, uh, not completely affiliated with us, but um, the Beacon World League uh, is releasing its uh, seeding maps. So uh, we're doing a little discovery for that. Um, but yeah, we're expecting those to be awesome as well. Uh, Noah is still gone. Uh, anything else from anything from you, Leo, that you uh, wanted to get out there? Uh, no, uh, well summarized. Yeah, that's part of the uh, the ITM pr Christmas calendar. That stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, after that, I think. Well, after this, I'm going to have a, a few days off. Uh, I uh, did a bit of organising for this, like begging people to do most of the work, um, as, as some people already know. <laughs> But still, uh, I want to give myself an undeserved break for a bit. Um, but yeah, who knows what's going to come next year? I mean, people in the community here and the admin team, especially, like we love doing events, and we will have quite a lot on next year as well. I imagine it's just figuring out all the dates of that stuff because the Trackmania calendar gets more and more congested uh, by the year. So uh, we're just seeing where we can fit stuff in, basically. Yeah, it's a. Uh... Although we'll, we'll we'll wait and see uh, how much of the calendar world tour or any potential uh, replacement takes up. <laughs> and Nua is sliding off the screen. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> well, are we, I think we're going to say, oh no, oh god, he's green screened and muted. He's green screened and muted. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> bye everyone <laughs> it's been a pleasure to be here thank you so much everyone for joining us tonight we're so happy to have been able to support Mind and yeah. Samaritans this evening and we couldn't have done it without the wonderful community at British Irish Track Mania as you've heard there's plenty going on get in the Discord server stay active stay safe out there and have a lovely Christmas yeah thanks all very much Merry Christmas